Hello, everyone, and welcome to Critical Role and a very special one-shot collaboration tonight with our friends at Bandai Namco and their brand new, highly anticipated action RPG, Elden Ring. Yeah. Highly anticipated <laughs> by <laughs> the world and myself. Uh, it is a new world created by Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R. R. Martin. Elden Ring is a massive, interconnected adventure with countless secrets to uncover and multiple gameplay options from single player to co-op to PvP. The game is amazingly tailored to your own desires with a ton of customization and crafting elements, and the original system allows for any player to forge their own unique adventure based on your personal ambitions and choices. We are so thrilled to have the opportunity to explore this amazingly rich world for ourselves, and just know that everything we do tonight is inspired by Elden Ring, and not true lore or canon. The system is heavily homebrewed by myself. It's all cobbled together, silliness, it'll be fun. Um, but the game is available on all platforms right now, and you can learn a lot more and play it at bit.ly dot bit.ly slash CR Elden Ring. Uh, big thanks to Bandai Namco for making this possible. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and meet our players for tonight, shall we? Yeah. Uh, we'll start on this end. Marisha. Oh, hello. Oh. I'm Kara Jen, and I uh, am a warrior wielding two scimitars, but I also have a dagger and I also have a bow, oh. just in case. I like to come prepared. That's fair. Because you never know what's ahead, and you never know what came before. There you go. You true? never know what came before? <laughs> no. Like Memento Gun? <laughs> yes. It's rough being the tarnished. Johnny Memento. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Marisha. Alex. Uh, yes, I, I'm uh, playing Twin Soul Marcus, who is an enchanted knight. And uh, I have a winged spear and all sorts of spells and goodies to throw around. Perfect, already. Uh, Brennan? Uh, hey, I'm Brennan, uh, and I'm playing. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, and I'm playing Brigida, who is a, a hero. That's all you need to know. Uh, uh, she is a, a, a five foot one. Red hair and braids, and covered in clay and woad and like war paint. She's got like a band of red across her eyes, uh, wooden shield, battle axe, and uh, she can breathe fire. Uh, cool to know. <laughs> yeah, you didn't say who you were either. And yeah, did yeah, I. yeah, yeah, no one knows who I am. So this is Alex. That's Marisha. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Perfect. <laughs> Well-oiled machine. And you know what? When, when we get into the game, we can begin with you describing your characters, okay. and it'll be, we'll, we'll do the intro through your bits, though. Perfect. Thank you, Brendan. I'm so bad. Christina. Um, hi, my name is Christina Ariel, and I am playing Prophetess Mariah Vanderness. The prophets say she's very great. <laughs> <laughs> she is a holy woman. You would do well to remember this. Wow. It's intense. Thank you. Wow. Fantastic, thank you, Christina. I have no one to speak for me. <laughs> uh, I'm Sam Regal. Uh, I will be playing N Neil, not Neil. <laughs> Neil, uh, who is of the Bloody Wolf class, which is a class that exists. And uh, I have some swords and stuff, and we're going to find out what Nils deal is. Neil's deal? Neil's deal! <laughs> Welcome to Neil's deal. Neil's deal. <laughs> Sorry, after a great start, well, I love it. Come on, Neil's deal. When we begin, I was gonna do an accent, but Brennan's sort of doing it, so I'm gonna change it up. <laughs> I'm gonna change it up before we start. Beautiful. Alrighty, alrighty. Well, I guess we'll we'll see where this band of odd adventurers begin when we jump into Elden Ring. An entire age has passed since it happened. In the lands between, where the once great realm under Queen Marika was kept prosperous under the Golden Order, the Elden Ring was shattered. The Golden Order sundered, and the runic pieces of the ring jealously taken and fought over by the queen's demigod offspring. Under the golden light of the Erd Tree, the realm was left torn by war, where blood fought against blood, kin against kin. 
The rule of death was lost with the rune of the same name, calling those who had fall to walk once more. Even possessing one of the powerful shards, a great rune, was not enough to gain purchase in this now never-ending struggle, breaking the land into fragmented shells of the former empire. Within this broken world, a glimmer of hope climbs from the shadows. The Tarnished. You, warriors of ancient blood who were banished from the lands between long ago, you now rise to the call of glory. Here, one might reclaim the grace, the grace once granted them, now lost. And along that path of redemption, unite the realm once more and deliver it from the madness of Marika's godlike children. Awaken, O tarnished, and seek your fate ahead. Immediately, in this dark, subterranean, damp stairwell, this cavern structure rising up towards the distant light, the heavy footfalls of armored, whether it be leather, leather or metallic, feet clambering through this near lightless space, pushing through as the five of you, just recently awoken to this land, begin pushing through. If you wouldn't mind describing how you rush up through the scene, what do they see? <gasps> Where am I? What's who? Ah. Oh, oh, okay. I just kind of clank over, moving in a forward direction, uh, cause I feel like I can't go back, but I can go forward. Would you like to describe yourself? Yes, <laughs> you see uh, a woman with like long, uh, shiny, dark black hair, stretching very long and straight. She's got two different colored eyes, one blue and one brown, and she's got a headband across the top of her head that has like two metal bits on the side and a triangle symbol in the center. And the rest of her is in, you know, kind of mismatched leather armor that looks like she's just sort of cobbled it, cobbled it together from many different sources. One's a little moldy, one looks a little fresher. None of it matches. Fair enough, all right. So as you go rushing up towards the light, pushing through weapons at the ready, you bump immediately shoulder to shoulder with this figure, if you'd like uh, to describe yourself. Uh, oh, hello, sorry. Um, Hi. You see a uh, heavily armored individual, full helm um, and armor covering the legs, head, and right side of the torso and a right arm, and then the left arm is free, full of uh, a voluminous sleeve covers the left arm in, in very blues and purples, very royal colors. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get into your way. Oh, um, I'm surprised I didn't see you. I am too, honestly. You're very I, bright. I stand out. You do. Um, uh, this way. I guess. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Need to begin pushing on further up this incline towards what looks like a, a distant bit of slowly brightening light as you get closer and closer before another hall carves into the side of where you're heading, and three other figures emerge from that side, also trudging up towards this light. If you'd like to describe what they see. Uh, yes, uh, uh, you see uh, a tall woman uh, with pale green skin and uh, sort of long, darker green matted hair uh, sticking out from a, a helm. She, she's also well armored with a, a dark uh, sort of black armor all over her body. Um, she carries a distinct uh, shield with some sort of fur all over it. It's a furred shield uh, and uh, a few blades behind her. Um, and, uh, and she staggers forward uh, uh, calling out in her distinct accent. Sonku! <laughs> uh, Sonku, where are you? Where are you? Oh, hello. Uh, hello, uh, who, who are you? Um, I'm gonna move in front of Mariah, my, my holy prophetess whom I follow. Uh, Short, fur-covered, I think at this point coming out of the dark subterranean, a pretty fragrant warrior. There's a sort of, the pelts got wet and there's a there's a sort of odor. Um, short, like bright red hair, barbarian looking, like Russo, like Hermia from Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> Tiny, angry woman uh, with like a Russo-Celtic barbarian vibe. Who are you? 
Have you come to destroy the prophetess? No, no, of course not. I'm, uh, my name is Neil. Who's the prophetess? <coughs> She's all right. I, 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 I can, I, it's a fungal I can, sort of atmosphere down here. I cannot heal, so. Neither can I. You have found this place. I am uh, Brigida. I am a warrior and he sorry, hero. Uh, <laughs> and I have come to protect. You're a hero. That's sort of a bold statement to just. No, it's of, it's, uh, a, it's a it's a transliteration from my people outside of the lands oh. between. I am the protector of the prophetess Mariah Vanderness. All right, uh, Neil take, takes a knee and uh, bows and in supplication in front of the prophetess. Now, who's your name? Are we supposed to do that? Should we? Hi. Uh, oh, uh, I, we're, I'm, we're kneeling now. Yeah, I also kneel. We kneel. <laughs> do you want everyone to bow? Everyone bow. Is this good for you or bad for you? You're kneeling. As they're all kneeling, <laughs> you look over I'm and you kneeling. see the prophetess, who somehow is still fully presenting as regal. After. I'm also regal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm no hero. But <laughs> 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 She's still in long robes, hands inside the sleeves, kind of looking around. Oh, this could take a while. The holy woman <laughs> says no eye contact! No direct looking in the eyes! Just with her, right? We can look at each other. <laughs> going to make things rather difficult going forward. Sorry, I've been told to tone that down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, just yeah, if you can help it, maybe less eye contact than normal. My children, <gasps> it is a pleasure to meet all of you. My brave soul here, Brigilda, speaks for me at times, because the weight of doing the things that we have to do to commune with the spirits are draining. But I will speak with you occasionally when I deem it necessary. I don't know why we are here, but I do know that there is a greater purpose and meaning to everything that we do, and everything that we do has consequences or rewards. Are you, are you a queen? Are you one of the queens? Of I am a this? prophet. That sounds like more important, that sounds very important than a queen. I sense that you have been places and you've returned from places. You're, she's like the smartest person. That's so wise. She's technically correct. I, I just feel like there's something else where I came from, but I don't know. Oh, wait, I don't want to. You, you were born to parents. Do you see how good she is? She just met you. I'm starting to have doubts. I had parents. It's about this moment that you hear the rattling of something, some impact of hearty, almost light, hollow stone on stone, or bone on bone, and the scraping of metal. Mm. Quite a bit of it from the darkness below behind you. From the little bit of light that your eyes have now adjusted to in the space, you can see something shift as a skull pulls its way behind you in the cavern. <laughs> it begins lunging in your direction. What do you do? Our, we fates, move. our fates are being decided right now. We, we need to move. Right, yes. I sense there's danger afoot. Good. Let's go. All right. We all like how far away? Uh, that that was a, quite about, say, behind 20 us. feet behind you. Are you heading towards the light or are you going towards I the light? I think towards the light, yes. Uh, yes, yes. We yes. must. Yes. All right. You all begin to charge towards the the light as it gets brighter and closer and brighter and closer. The light beginning to slowly filter out into your eyes. It gets to a point where you're it's almost too much for you to focus on. And as you emerge from this cavern, immediately this soft wind hits your face. You adjust and blink. And glancing out in the space in front of you, you see a rolling expanse of tall grass covered hills blowing and shifting winds. You can see cliffside rock outcroppings and bridgeways, stone ruins and structures, miles off, partially crumbled through age. 
you see to the left and beyond, to the western side, shore, muddy beaches marked with stone and forgotten lands, crumpled temples left partially submerged in the ocean waters as the shore brushes against the side. Beyond that, you can see a massive castle standing upon the topest, topmost point of this hill. And rising above that, what can only be described as a miles tall golden tree of luminescent white and gold bark. It encompasses the entirety of the horizon and the sky above nearly. Its branches sprawling, stretching further than your imagination could have prepared yourself for. You can only assume this is the Earth Tree. The Earth Tree? Earth Tree. Earth, 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 Earth Tree. It's what, it's what decides whether we are g good or bad, right? Or worthy? It is where once the, it is believed the Golden Order was emanated from, and where the grace of this land was granted, though the tarnished that you are had this grace taken long ago, and you were exiled. But here you return to the lands between, in this warring space. Well, this is much nicer than in there. Um, no, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Brigilda? Uh, Brigida. Brigida. You Bri is shorter, Bri, easier for people. Uh, and the prophetess? Um, Just as two skeletons arrive and attack you. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> we'll get <you> later. <laughs> <laughs> so, at this immediate point in time, two of these skeletons come charging up from behind, oh grasping spears, <laughs> making some sort of odd, airy sound that should not be made for a lack of a larynx, but you know, magical oh. world. Um, magical larynx. Uh, <laughs> magical larynx. Magical larynx. <laughs> That's your next character. That's my nickname. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of them immediately rushes forward and is going to strike towards you, Brigida, with a spear. For... You are just me with less meat. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> well, uh, that is 11 points of physical damage towards you. May I? Do I have any stamina to yeah. attempt to dodge or block this? Indeed, you can, you can spend stamina if you'd like to. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, two stamina, and I'm going to dodge this if I can. Go for it. I can't. <laughs> That's going to be a nine. You're just still inside the cavern enough where you, ha, roll to the side, poof, right into the, the rock, which just kind of pinches you there, uh. right as the spear grrr, puts in towards you. So you take uh, the full brunt of that damage, minus your armor, which is? Uh, I rolled a four, I rolled a one, so I take 10 points of damage. 10 points of physical damage to you out of the gate. Uh, the other one is going to go ahead and swing towards uh, I'll say you are probably protecting you, so the other one's going to go towards you, uh, Kara. So that will be an incoming uh, six physical damage. I shall dodge. Go ahead and roll. Mm-hmm, that's a natural 18 for 24 total. <laughs> no damage taken as you just roll out of the way. <sighs> it's now your guys go. The two skeletons are there who wants to um, take a turn. Please. Um, Yes, I draw. I draw my bastard sword, uh, wielding it with two hands. I stow my shield, and I will uh, take a two-handed strike against uh, the one that attacked the prophetess. Go for it. Uh, Fourteen was twenty to hit. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Um, I'm gonna just arc down and try to hit it right in the forehead with this gigantic sword. Oh, a one plus five is only six points of damage, but because I did two-handed, it's an extra d6 of damage for an extra three. Nine points of damage. Nice, nine points of damage. The blade smacks down and cracks bone. You can see part of the ribcage itself kind of cave inward, and one of the arms is left barely functional, but it only needs one to use the spear as well. It still stands. <laughs> Uh, that takes three stamina down. Uh, I'll let I'll let someone else go before I do anything else. So I'm recovering from that. You got it. Next to Bree, uh, seeing them get hit, I'm going to try and uh, stab with my spear to get them off. Go for it, bring spear. Um, so I'll make a spear attack. Spear v spear. Spear v spear. That is a um, that is a 17 to hit. That hits. Go and roll damage. Okay, six. Uh, that's um, 
seven points of physical damage. Okay, is this the same one that uh, that Nil had attacked? Uh, no, no, uh, no, but the one that attacked uh, Bree. Okay, got it. Yeah. Cool. So both now have taken some fairly heavy hits and both standing, uh, but you can see they've they're starting to crumble under the weight of the wounds they've already sustained. Who wants to go next? The prophetess sees all of this happening and she decides to go after the same skeleton. She pulls her club from behind her back and she aims directly for the head. Go for it. So speaking is too difficult for you, but <laughs> swinging a club is okay, just go. <laughs> Sometimes violence is required. So wise. Eighteen, I A million points. So that's twenty-one. That definitely hits. Go and roll damage. <laughs> and then that is one d six. So that's five. So that's eight. And plus one, so nine. Nine of damage. Woof! As the club comes down, it <clears throat> completely sunders the skeleton from the top. It breaks into a pile of bones, leaving itself just this period of bone shards jagged on the ground and this kind of odd glowing slime left behind that seems to be kind of shifting in the space. Mm. Ah, an excellent hit. It once existed, it now does not. She's so cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna turn to the other one, pull out both my scimitars, twirl them around in my hands. <laughs> okay. Dual wielding attack. Go for it. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, 19. 19, good roll, it's good roll damage. So this is 1d6, I can make additional attack for free that deals, okay, so okay. So, the, oh good. Uh, that was horrible. Four, five, six, seven damage total. Seven damage, that's enough. With that, you carve through with one blade, absolving the head from its connection to the clavicle <laughs> and uh, the rest of the upper torso. The other one, woof, cleaves through the center of its spine. It crumples to the ground, both a secondary glowing slime kind of sits there, shifting with amongst the pile of bone that remains. He's been relieved of his head. I like you. Good, 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 good. I'll, I will kneel down and kneel down and uh, examine the glowing whatever that was. You can roll an investigation or a religion check. Okay, I am quite. Religious, so. <laughs> uh, 18 plus 2, 20. So, the golden order of these lands maintained the order of life and the passage into death. When the death rune was taken, things that were once dead began to rise. This is the essence of undeath within this skeletal body, and unless this is dealt with, they will rise again. Oh. Quickly. Oh. Uh. Does anyone have an idea on how we can deal with these? Uh, the bombs come uh, back. Yes, the the life, the undead life force will <laughs> just, just start smashing just bones hit, apart. Hit them. No, no, the, I think it's the magic that we need to deal with. Well, not magic the, cannot work if there are no bones. So you break them bone, <laughs> the bones down to sand. There's no sand skeleton, you know. That's a fair point. It's possible, you're correct. I, don't, I I will try to deal with the magic. <laughs> That's amazing. What? No, 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 I just, it's su it, surprising verocity. Did Nil, well, did Nil touch it? I just yeah. sort of examined it, but I think now that I know what it is, I will try to snuff it out by st stomping on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a physicality to okay. it. It does look like it, it, it uh, reacts to your impact, but it does feel like the longer time that goes by, it is starting to shake all the bones and start shimmering them back together into one form. Even the dusty bones? Uh, having a harder time with that one. That, that's, <laughs> See, it's fighting. Magic, not so tricky. You know, <laughs> magic, it seemed tricky at first, but then you just have to, you know, put in the elbow grease. Um, yeah, you, can, you can see the skull of the one that uh, Brigida is messing with right now on the ground. If it had an expression, it would be like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, Regardless, maybe we should just leave. It's, that's, uh, yes, why, why not? Let's just go. I'm going to, well, hang on. I'm okay. going to reach out. Can I just take it? Can I grab it? Is that something I can bring with me? If you'd like to. I can, I can, green, I can bring the green glowing Do goop. Do you grab it? I grab the goop. Okay. You grab it, and as you pull, the bones seem almost tethered to it and drag oh. with it. 
This is a tethered essence of undeath here. <laughs> you chuck it deeper into the cavern, and as it does, you watch as the bones kind of drag with it into the shadow. The, the, is there another skeleton that also has one of those similar essences here as well? But there's the one that you're chewing on. <laughs> I'm going to look at that and say, okay, you were able to unmake this abomination by destroying it, the connection of the skull to the rest of the bones. I just threw a goop. <laughs> yes, I see the goop throw. That's a good idea, too. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I'm going to say, can you hold this goop here? I want to see if maybe something else work. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Pick up the goop. Uh, once Karajan's holding the goop, I'm going to drop kick the skull as far as I can yes. away from here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll a strength uh, check for me. Roll a d20, add your strength modifier. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Uh, that's going to be a uh, dirty 20. Vanishes over one of the nearby hillside right. lines into the, the deep, high, tall grass, out of sight. Well done. I right. give a moment of peering at the grass, like something's going to come rolling back. Iron giants. <laughs> the rest of the bones, as you're looking out that way, begin to slowly reform into a mostly skeletal structure without a head. Oh boy, this is okay. Um, and <laughs> uh, uh, is it okay to leave the bones trying to come back with no head? To stay is to possibly put yourself in danger. To leave is to possibly avoid danger. <laughs> I would be so lost without you. <laughs> it's like a guiding light that never extinguishes. So are you true? So the skeleton's basically reformed without It's in a the head. process of reforming without a head. It's cool. yes. Marcus it's just hairy. takes his staff and just just shoots it with a bolt of magic just to kind of knock it back down again. Okay. <laughs> it just collapses back to the ground. All right, let's go. All right. Okay. Now, stepping away, the the breeze is welcoming in these beautiful lands. It's almost dreamlike as you step through the tall grass and glance over at the expanse before you. The strange sense of purpose conflicts with the sense of insignificance when looking up at the sheer immensity of the Erd tree before you. You can see small shapes off at the, the periphery of your eyes, your vision, uh, clusters of creatures that call this land home. You see as the, the day begins to turn to night in this space, so what, what is considered night here in the lands between, you can see large bat-like creatures off to the right. You can see small ships shifting by the shoreline and the heavy winds upon the hill beyond, above the cliffside, obscure a lot of the space there, but you swear even at this distance you can see shapes, large shapes moving from within. As you step further forward, an odd shimmer catches your eye. Towards the edge of this top hill, beyond the catacomb that you emerged from, you see hovering about a foot above the ground what looks to be a shimmering, gathering globe of gold energy like a, a sparkling moat of magic, just kind of inviting, warm. Have you seen such a thing in your, in your foresight, madam? I've seen a light that glows and floats recently, almost moments ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's so wild, because... I... She predicted what we're seeing right now. It's uncanny, really. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Almost identical <laughs> description as what we just sort of saw. As a prophetess stepping into this land, you do know that the, the once granted grace by the Erd Tree that has been lost by the Tarnished, uh, there is a familiar return to that grace here. In fact, this here would be, in your knowledgeable mind, a site of lost grace, a place of respite for those who would come to walk the lands between. Now might be a good time to put a camp and rest and feel the grace as the grace overtakes you and brings you peace. The grace that we once had returns to me, maybe to you as well. I am so Do you feel it? 
guys? Do you feel it? Wait. I do feel it. Absolutely not. Let's non-belief only leads to non-belief. To oh, <laughs> I can't fall on that bit. one. I can't. <laughs> so <laughs> you admit sense. she's right. That was in that's this the, specific instance. That's, the, that's pretty good. That's very fast. I will approach the uh, the light and see if I feel any different. As you begin to step towards it, it seems to brighten, and you feel drawn to it in a, a comforting way. Like you belong in this space, in this moment. This was meant to be. And for a moment, a bit of gold light returns to your eyes. A hint of that grace once taken, now granted temporarily in this space. As you all kind of begin to gather around this site of lost grace, one heals all of you back to full for any damage you had taken. Uh, if you had used any of your sacred flasks, those would be restored as well. If any of you had died, you would be restored here. Um, and just kind of overview for the rules, since we did one initial combat, um, this heavily homebrewed system, everyone has a set number of stamina based on their build that they can spend on their player turn. They can either blow as much of it as they want to on attacks and abilities, uh, but if they want to save some on the enemy turn, they can use it to dodge or block. If they use all of it, they cannot defend themselves and attacks just do damage. Um, and then all the stamina returns at the top of the player turn, so for those of you who are watching can follow along. Um, there is focus points for certain spells and skills that can be used as we go, but those are only restorable by your flasks, your uh, sacred flasks of Cerulean Tears, uh, or by re returning to a site of lost grace like this. So, as you all take a moment here to sit and bask in this sliver of grace before you, the warmth, you feel a presence nearby, and you instinctually glance over and see, almost stepping out of the ether, a humanoid woman made of blue energy, and that energy suddenly becomes physical form. You see a darkened cloak and hood around her, some pale blonde hair tumbling from beneath the hood as she approaches and sits within your circle around this sight. Hello. Can she see us? Oh, I can see you. Oh. That's not... Welcome, O oh, Tarnished. I'm glad that you've made your way here, for there is much opportunity for you. My name is Melina, and I would like to strike an accord with you. Here in the lands between, there is opportunity for you tarnished warriors to set your path towards the Erd Tree. Seek the great runes, the broken shards of the Elden Ring, and claim this realm as the new exalted lord, bringing an end to this warring age. But to begin this path, one must make their way through the dangers of Stormvere Castle. And she points off beyond the rolling hills, the rising cliffs, onto the windy expanse above and there, that massive stronghold that you had seen when you first came. Dethrone its corrupted Stormveil castle. Journey there, dethrone its corrupted ruler, and continue towards the Earth Tree beyond. There, there is where your fate resides. Insight check. Yes, you may. Uh, 13. 13. You do not sense at a glance any sort of devious purpose to this, though you are uncertain as to whether or not their motives are entirely altruistic. They certainly seem invested in you, and certainly seem to be of um, a different kind of power than what you carry amongst you. There is something ethereal and different about them that you can't quite place. Can I ask a question of you, Milana, of the Lands Between? Of course. Very selfless to know of the Erd Tree and the Great Runes, and not to seek them for yourself. I know I am not worthy 
to wield them. I follow one who I believe is. I question if you are the same, and why you have not sought this power for yourself. Ah, but I am not the same. Many who call these lands home have sought these shards, and whether their power's great or their spirits bound to these lands, it drives them to warfare, to fight endlessly, or be given to madness. It is you, once exiled that return, I believe, have the means of gathering these shards and truly bringing peace and an end to this. I am but a steward, if anything. There are few I can invest my intention into. Does that mean that we have competition? It is possible. How did you know we would be here? I did not, but I sensed your arrival. And I felt it best that I beseech your alliance before someone of lesser valor did so. And how do we know that you're not of lesser valor? You do not, but I come to you peacefully, and I offer you gifts that should aid you in your journey, should you agree. What kinds of gifts? Well, she holds out a hand, and in the space of where those skeletons were battled earlier, these strange, small, glowing shards of stone kind of drift over to this space, and she lays them before you. These are runes, small shards of the Sundered Elden Ring. These you can take from the various dangers that walk the lands between and use them to empower yourself. I can aid you in doing so at any of these sites of lost grace. Also, these lands are wide, the dangers immense and quick, there are spectral friends that could embolden your passage. Will you accept my accord? I don't see why not. The prophetess accept. I accept. What the prophetess said. I have no reason to doubt you, so yes, I will go along with this. Then this pact is sealed. I warn you, the open fields of Limgrave are overrun with powerful mercenaries, unstoppable trolls and maddened beasts. So a path may fare better if hidden to climb to Stormhill. Stalk along the western coast there and seek a cave among the cliffs. This shall aid you in bypassing the heavily guarded storm gate. Let the ethereal golden threads guide your way. And as she raises her hand, you see from this sight a very faint gossamer string of gold energy seems to arc like a, like a faint rainbow off towards where that shoreline to the west lies, where you see the muddy, pebbled beaches reside. Good luck, tarnished warriors. One question before you go. <clears throat> I do not remember much about our time in the lands between before exile, but I do remember I had a, a trusted friend who lived here with me, uh, Sonku. It was my little cat. Are any such animals still around? Beings of power or beings of innocence often find themselves taken by those jealous of what they do not have. Perhaps it is, well, let us hope at least that he who resides within that keep does not hold this cat under his dominion. I hope not. She steps back and begins to discorporate and vanish into the ether, leaving you there at the site alone. 
with runes uh, for the skeletons Wait. that you slayed. Everyone there gained six runes. Six. Six runes. You can utilize Bien these sûr. sites to upgrade if you'd like. Does anyone notice how frustrating it is to speak with someone that only speaks in riddles? Absolutely. Deeply. Is that a riddle? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want to do this quickly before I get interrupted again. Uh, Bree, uh, Prophet. Nil. Nil. Karen. Karajin. Karajin. My name's Marcus. Or it's, twins? Do you go by Twin Soul? I do, I, it's weird that you would know that. Um, it is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she tipped me off. Uh, it is, uh, yes, uh, some people call me Twin Soul Marcus. Um, some people. Do. It's, it's a title, more, nothing official, more of a nickname than anything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure we were all acquainted if we're going to be traveling together. Um, so the beach is where we're going? Yes? I guess, seems like it's almost like a thread of fate we have to follow. There is a cave there, which is what Milana said. Yeah. You said that you have a cat who is left here in these lands. Well, I do not know where, but she was my precious angel. Sanku, and sh I have not had her for quite some time, but we would always curl up together and sleep at night, but without her, I, I toss and turn. And I was hoping, no, I was determined to come here to find her. It's a good name for cat. Back amongst my people, I have uh, a warthog very special to me and is not here in the lands between, but I have said goodbye to her to come here. And I know what it means to have a creature. Their faith is pure. Their loyalty is pure. I will find who has taken your cat and I will chew through their neck until I reach the bone. I appreciate that so much. You have you have my loyalty as well. And you mine. I'm gonna tap my axe against my shield. I've never had an You're not companion. a pet person? No. no. Not, not even like a goldfish or like a little like lizard terrarium animal? Maybe a group animal like a hamster for a group of children? No. One hamster for a group of children? Yeah, like a class hamster. Oh. Yeah. I remember when I was at you, you sort of feel so warm inside and you End up knowing more about yourself after. It's it's something I guess you wouldn't no, understand. I, I wish to know this type of connection. Maybe along the way, I can find an animal and a mm. connection. Maybe, yeah. I saw some really big bats that way. <laughs> That's right. There's, There's one option. Huge bats. That's fine. Bats, better for pet than for meat, because mostly skin. Sure, sure. I, I've heard. Yes, that uh, bats are. Uh, it's like a dolphin, bat, oh, right. and then pig in terms of like intelligence. Mm. Think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and they all kind of like communicate sonically too. Yes. So that's fun. It's so odd. We don't really remember much about where we came from, but we have all this animal mm -hmm. knowledge. <laughs> this is really quite amazing. It's very strange. Yes. Yeah, very strange. Some things are just inherent to one's nature. I guess so. That's yeah, I don't know why I know the things I do and why I don't know the things that I don't. It's profound. It's when you time. compliment me, it's, <laughs> it's a different level. <laughs> it's about this time you glance over the space where uh, Melina had stepped away and vanished, and there on the ground, there is a cluster of these uh, beautifully carved runic whistles. Oh, oh, hello. Items. We get weasels? Oh, God, getting handed a card. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. 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 These can be used to summon your spectral Wait, steed. We're just talking about animals. We get it done. <laughs> we accomplished your task already. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Game done, you guys. You did it. Elden Ring. Good oh. plan. <laughs> You get a horse. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Like ring, you get a horse. <laughs> I think Excuse it's, me, it's a spectral steed. That's true. That's right. It's also in the back of it. how classy that sounds. It's pretty awesome. Your steed vanishes, if your steed vanishes, if your steed vanishes, you cannot summon again in the swings. So you, you, can, you can fight on it if you want to. Oh. 
you just can't dodge or block. And, and we can use, it. it's not limited, we can do this, we can get on our horses right now? Yeah, if you want to. <gasps> but are, we, are we going to set out, is it dark, is it? Uh, it's, you can see that the light is just transitioning, like it's almost that golden hour, and you're not quite certain how long that's going to last. Hmm. Should we just go? Or? No, yeah. I think there's a little to linger here. No part of this land feels safe. Mm. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a very nice song. That, that's I don't know how I know music. <laughs> yeah, is that the song we have to play? Holy shit! <laughs> how do you know Rogers and Hammerstein? <laughs> 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 Uh, Greatest tarnish, uh, <laughs> yeah, tarnish musical song. artists. Uh, well, they've aged not as well, actually. Some of the pieces are okay. Tarnished artist. <laughs> <laughs> tarnished artist, oh my god. All right, so you all mount up? Yes. I guess yeah. so. As you finish blowing into the whistles, shpoof, these beautiful, uh, big, heavy furred mane horses arrive, lightly armored. <laughs> And wait for you to go ahead and mount up onto them, as you all grasp onto the front, taking the uh, the, the back of the mane in hand, and then kicking off as one group maneuvering, much like a uh, a flock of birds. You begin to shift through the tall grasses, cresting over the hill, off of a small jump, catching up onto the slower valley below, heading towards the beachside western edge of Limgrave. Now, as you continue forward, the air blowing past, you can smell the kind of scent of low tide mingling with this almost sweetness in the air that seems to just permeate the atmosphere of the lands between. Uh, you glance a little ways beyond the, uh, the breeze-blown grass to see, first, a, a small kind of broken ruin that pushes partway onto the beach. That faint little gossamer thread leading you kind of past and beyond that. Um, and then about uh, 200 feet beyond that looks to be a, a small campfire, like a burning bit of flame that's set a little ways inward from where the shoreline it's is. It's on a beach. There's no, there's no chance that like this flame is like on the end of a hand holding a torch that's sticking out of the sand with Make like, a a, check. like a woman's head with like a... <laughs> Make a perception okay. check. <laughs> uh, 11 plus uh, two, 13. You get a pretty, it's it's not a large fire, oh. it is not attached to a, a fake a torch. Of Liberty no, it is not. Okay. Uh, there are no <laughs> damn dirty games here. I do have a question yes. from a philosophical standpoint. Yes. Is this burning an eternal flame? <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Make a perception check to see if you can hear my heart beating. <laughs> Oh. Do you feel the same? Uh, <laughs> I don't have like a little. Oh wait, yes I do. So that's a seventeen. You are not only dreaming. <laughs> that is indeed a campfire. What you can see is an encampment that looks to be a, a number of soldiers, about four oh. of them, that are currently around this fire in the distance, about about a little over hundred feet from where this ruin is upon the beach. Does the campfire look similar to the one we were just at? No, this is not a, a site of lost grace. This is an actual burning flame. Maybe don't. Mm -hmm. Maybe hold off a minute. She said there were other mercenaries about. Should we kill them? Uh, well, uh, all right. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I, I, think, I think she have a point. No, that's fair, but just. They might not be hostile. We could go around. That's a wise idea. Avoidance is the way of peace. Okay. Healthy competition. It's good to have. Mm. Right? I guess. I could just like sneak. My feeling is that the prophetess has spoken, which let's be clear every time she does that, it is a gift. <laughs> So, she said to avoid, I'm going to follow her command, and I feel like if these soldiers are making camp and we have chosen to ride through the night, that we already beat them, so. While they are talking. <laughs> um, a prophet oh, is okay. also down for throat slitting, so that is <laughs> Only in their sleep. Yes, if we wait for them to go to sleep. I'm not going to wait for them to go to bed. I, I agree with that. <laughs> 
Thank you. Seen? I was just going to say, we on, 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 on horseback, we will not be very quiet, s- sneaking around, I, I don't think. No. Can we dismount? We dismount, and, dismount and kind of circumvent them? Yes, please. I think that is right to sneak around the camp. And if they are not going to go to sleep, which is condition for prophetess to want to slit their throat, then I think we dismiss. I will get rid of Horse Tasha, and then we will. Your name yours already. Yes, her I, name I Horse actually Tasha. Named mine as well. What's your name? Avecu. Shit. Ah. Uh, because um, it has a tail. Um, um. Oh, this is Supernova. <laughs> what a name. Thank you. I love her, and I will murder anyone. Supernova is kind of like. <laughs> Leaning away, kind of just shits in the ground next to you. I just look at my horse. Do you have a name? You ask your horse his name? That's only polite. Yeah. You know, you you smart guy most of the time. <laughs> what? I, it, it's a spectral horse. It might be able to talk. I don't know. No, the horse does not talk. Beautiful horse would ruin the horse if it talk. <laughs> That's an arbitrary rule. No, I would ruin the horse. A horse talk, horse go, oh, I'm a guy, I have some bad opinions. What if it has a beautiful no, voice? No, fairness, I, I think he's, she's right. I mean, it would look really weird to have a horse just be like, hey, how's it you going? You know what, your name's Ed. That's a great horse name. Twin Soul Ed? No, just Ed, I'm okay. Twin Soul, it's fine. It's Ed. One Soul Ed. <laughs> four Hoof Ed. <laughs> One Soul, Four Hoofed Ed. <laughs> Yes, yeah. very long That's name. Great. Prophetess, do your horse also have name, or is secret holy holy name of horse? <laughs> I have named my horse after the great prophet of old, Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler, beautiful horse. Amazing mane, beautiful vocal cords. And did we decide if we are ambushing or uh, sneaking or? I think we dismiss Dismount. horses. We can't get them back, just throwing that out there. We can't? We can as long as they're not killed. Yes. You, you can't summon them again unless you expend the sacred flask of, of crimson tears. You can summon them, well, okay, to clarify, you can summon them outside of combat whenever you need to. Okay, okay. But if you're, if you're in combat and you lose it, you have to spend a flask to bring it's it back on. Damage. Okay, um, great. So <clears throat> feel free. We dismiss, we move around, and when we get far enough away on the other side, we summon it back again. Goodbye, horse Tasha. Soon. It Soon. leans away from you. Bonsoir, <laughs> <laughs> Vic. I, you know, I'm getting the feeling I'm going to encounter a lot of challenges I wasn't prepared for in this. I really thought. Trolls. Yes, trolls. trolls. That's, that's what I meant, absolutely. Ah, oh, the, the your competitive spirit against those out there. Battling your internal demons. What did you mean? I shouldn't speak for you. No, I just meant like naming animals. <laughs> oh. I wasn't prepared to do that. I didn't think that was going to come up in this. This. You consider naming an animal a challenge? Oh, I just wasn't prepared. Never mind. Let's keep going. <laughs> having someone speak for you. Mm-hmm. I wish I had it. Nothing is wrong with that. Exactly. I'd like you all to roll stealth checks as all you right. carefully try and stealth your way via this conversation around an encampment of soldiers. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> Five over here. Fifteen. All right. Seven. A strong one. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Oh, yikes. Uh, total of four. <laughs> okay. As I feel like I've offended the prophetess, I'm just like, look, you know, I, I didn't mean, you know, uh, I wasn't speaking to your situation in the slightest. I just say I want to, uh, oh. There's a cracking sound, and you watch as Kara lifts up her foot and you see there was a skull on the ground that was resting there that is now cracked open. The heavy sound of the breaking causes a voice to go, huh? what? And you see the soldiers glance over in your direction. Nailed. And they all go into a full charge towards you. So. They get to, they get to attack first. They get to attack Damn first, yeah. Damn it. Didn't really have no tried, ambush taken on this point, though, but good, good looking out. All right, so it looks like <laughs> There are two soldiers drawing blades that are rushing in towards you, and two in the back that pull short bows out and begin knocking arrows into it. So we have the two that are coming uh, to the very, very front with swords. They're going to rush as you guys are all clustered together quietly. They charge upward, uh, and just for kind of spatial awareness points here, I'll just go ahead and put these here so you all have an idea of where they are. 
and four. Matt's best map yet. Isn't it that? <laughs> for spatial awareness, y'all. This guy's in the back. And there we go. That's true. Yeah. Just to give you some an idea of what's happening there, yeah. Alrighty, so. Theater of the Minis? Theater of the Minis, exactly. Comes forth and is going to go ahead and strike at probably you towards the front. Cool. And at you. Okay. You both apparently, they don't quite see you I yet. That's very loud. I but you rolled the one, one <laughs> so that's going to put you in a bad space. Yeah. It was a toss between the two of you. So rushing towards you, sword strike for. Oof. That's going to be uh, 14 points I'm, of physical damage to you. I'm going to. Yeah, I'll try and dodge. Okay, go ahead and roll dodge. Not good at all. That is a um, an eight. An eight. All right, then. Yeah, you go ahead and take the full fourteen points of physical damage. Uh, the one that's striking armor. towards you. Uh, po- is it possible to attempt a dodge and a block, or you may only do one? One or the other. One or the other. Cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and dodge. All right. Ooh, same roll. So. Uh, Twenty-two. That manages us. Woof, no damage to you as you avoid the attack entirely. Now the one in the back with the bow is going to go ahead and take take a shot at you, and a shot at you. So over towards you. Look that at is this. wow. Keep rolling the same roll. Uh, that is going to be eleven points of physical damage to you. Is it? What are you doing? <laughs> Turn the I dodge. dodge. What'd you roll? A nineteen. A nineteen? Nope. <laughs> Jump out of the way. And to you, that's going to be uh, uh, nine points of physical damage. I look at the prophetess, and as we both move simultaneously, like we're in lockstep, because we're in lockstep, right? I dodge. Okay, Mm. go ahead and roll. Yeah, it's a natural 17. (laughs) Dodge out of the way, no issue. Uh, Don't forget to mark our roll for your armor to reduce the damage you take from these attacks, too. (laughs) All right, that finishes their go now. It's the player's turn. You guys are up. Stamina's back to full. What are you going to do? Question. Yes. Melee is next to. Are archers at short distance or long distance? Archers are technically at a long distance, I'll say. So you'd have to use your movement and a stamina to get up to them, I'd say. Movement, now here's a question. What if I don't want to get all the way to the archers? What if I want to get halfway between the archers and the melee combatants? Then you can go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to look at you and say, I will be by your side as soon as I can. I'm gonna leap up, and I fully breathe my fire pot away. Um, uh, I'm going to like barbarian hurl myself over the soldiers, tumble, get halfway between uh, the archers and them, and go. You want to fight? And I'm going to breathe <laughs> dragon's fire. This like huge dragon's head of flame covers my body, uh, and I'm going to be able to hit all of them with a dragon fire spell. Cool. Just spin around and burn. In a large arc across them. Go ahead and roll damage. Woo, baby. Okay. Um, this is going to be uh, 5d6 damage to all of them. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 11, Holy. 17, 20 points of damage to everybody. Nice. Oh, shit, that was a crazy roll. Um, okay. <laughs> that takes a bunch of points of stamina off the board for me. Um, I think. Then I might. Can I use a stamina to move back in front of the prophetess? I'll allow that, yeah. Um, so you jump out, leap, burn an arc around that way, and then shift back to try, to try and get in front of where the prophetess is. Um, and then I have two points of stamina left. Uh, I'm just going to take a battle axe swing at uh, one of these dudes, uh, whoever, whoever is closest to the prophetess. Okay, you got it. Uh, it's only gonna be a nine. Nine misses, unfortunately. They all look pretty hurt. They're all like, ah! Ah! just burning in flames before him. And you, you run back in space, like, fuck! <laughs> uh, and just parry off your weapon, no issue there. Uh, who wants to go next? Uh, seeing what Bree just did, and as I tumble from the dodge, I'm gonna also pull out my short, bol- my short bow and fa, fa, the ones in the back. Go for it. 
Do you say Rest- fa-fa when you shoot? Fa! Fa! Who fa 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 Rasputin. Look at you and the regular white camera noises. I mean, all good, all good warriors in RPGs should make those sounds as they fight, right? Pull on one of those like, anime dubs, just go through the consonants. Fa, ta, ka, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, so you're doing, you're doing uh, an attack to each of them? Um. <laughs> Or yeah, you, I'll do. I'm, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do an attack to each of them. Okay, so the first one, the first one on the right. One, uh, fifteen. Fifteen hits. Go and roll damage. Okay. I should have rolled dice at the same time. Uh, seven. Seven points of damage. And then to Let's the look. second one. Alrighty. It's a natural eighteen. With that hits. These are the guys who were on fire before. Uh, yeah. All yeah, of them were yeah. on fire. Nine oh. damage to the the second one. The second one. Oh, we all four. Oh, four. Oh, four. oh wow. Let's oh, get jumped out in the middle. Oh. Of the Gets taken out from the arrow and falls to the ground. The other one's really hurt, and like the arrow's like jammed right in the clavicle, and they're like, oh, oh, oh. So as she rolls out of way, I, I have my spin. I go, why is everyone obsessed with this prophetess? And I just stab <laughs> the. I'm gonna take my spear, flip it around, and stab it into the chest of the one on the right there. Over here. Yeah. You got it. Okay, go ahead and roll and, for an attack. Um, as I do, it will. Let's see if I hit first. Um, ooh, that's much better. Uh, that'll be a twenty-two. 22 hits, go and roll damage. Uh, let's do a d6, which is fine. Uh, so that's nine points of physical damage. So I stab into the chest, and as I do, I press down and I take the staff and I, fi- I point it over over the body of the other soldier towards the one there. Yeah. And the far these, one? The far one. And yeah. these runes appear around the tip of the uh, scepter. And I, I go. Mm-hmm. Had a thing in my head. <laughs> my went completely blank. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> I just aim for a second and go, there. And it, fi- it fires this blue bolt of energy stre- streaking across the battlefield. Fantastic. That's He's going brilliant. to. Uh, ooh, a natural 19, so yeah, uh, 24. That definitely hits, good roll damage. And that'll be. It's your glintstone pebble? Your glintstone pebble. It'll be. Uh, yeah, eight points of damage, magic damage. As it impacts, you blast him off of his feet, and he lands on the ground, and just uh, you hear the the life escape from his lungs. Well done. Yeah. There are the two. So the two in the back of the bows are taken out. The two armored soldiers in the front seem to have sustained some injuries, but they're still holding the line strong. And they kind of glance over their shoulder at their fallen comrades and. <laughs> She's getting me more angry and furious. I'll, uh, pu- I'll push past Marcus and just yell, for the honor of the prophetess! <laughs> and, <laughs> and take uh, a couple swings with my long sword this time. Okay, uh, shield at, that long sword. At one of them. You stabbed one with a spear, uh, right? One on the right, yeah. I'll go for the same one. Okay, go for it. Uh, first attack is 24. That's good here, jeez. Uh, and that's... Uh, uh, three points of damage. Uh, sorry, eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. And are they carrying just blades? That's it. Yeah, they just have uh, long swords. Not the similar right. to the one you have. All right, uh, and These then are the real hurt. Uh, with the with the sec- I, I will I will re- reel back and strike again, trying to like uh, hit him in the in his blade arm. Too, Go for just it. In case. Uh, Fifteen plus six, twenty-one to that hit. Will hit yeah. Uh, for uh, twelve points of damage. So as you kind of push forward to this guy, <laughs> go ahead and strike him once with the long sword. It cuts across the chest. He pulls his blade up to try and get it under your chin as a retaliatory strike, but you whip around with the secondary strike and right across the throat. Oh, he falls to the ground and expires. Um, so yeah, he's down. There's only one guy standing. Uh, th- that's it. I'll I'll just draw the blade back and wipe the blood off and wait for uh, the prophetess to do anything if she does anything. She does. <laughs> <laughs> the prophetess walks slowly towards the one remaining, and she says, "This is a kindness." <laughs> Got chills. So, she rolls a ten and go, attempts to do her beast claw. Rolls a ten to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, that misses. Oh, do you add anything for beast? I think you roll with a plus five modifier on that. Oh, right? you are right. So it's fifteen. Fifteen does hit though. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a kindness. So then, at yeah, that time that she, she walks it. forward, she it would work both ways. <laughs> yeah. Calmly walks forward, her kind of eyes closed. You know that walk that they do in cartoons where they're like. It's like a slow kind yeah. of game. It's like super, super it's calm. What's she doing? Of the what's, what's this be? <laughs> and she just walks forward, goes, <laughs> and 
and like her claws come out and she goes straight for his throat and just oh. you pulls oh. his voice box out. Oh, God. And he crumples to the ground. Are you rolled damage yet? No, but I figure I just effed him up. So probably was roll damage. <laughs> One pull in He's pretty. It's right, pretty so hurt. That's so. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. That'll do it. You carve the larynx from his body. He falls to the ground, able to speak. The one that was cut earlier uh, down in on the ground, his throat cut is like in the last dregs of his life. Goes, you fools! You're too loud. You're drawing their attention. Oh no! Did we just kill good guys? <laughs> and right as he, no, they came after you. Okay. <laughs> is that David Tennant? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Such a fan. I'm fully <laughs> prostrate on the ground. When I yeah. see the beast claw, I, I'm not. When I bow, it's full on stomach, <laughs> legs splayed out behind me. I have to get as low as possible to bow sufficiently. That, that, was, as, that was good. That was pretty cool. You think as you all begin to bow around uh, the prophetess, you kind of glance about and think to yourself, like, too loud. Why is that? And right as you look over towards the, the darkening, slowly turning evening light upon the horizon of the shoreline, there's a shape shifting out. Of the ocean itself. Um, I'm gonna, as I look at this, you see. Just take out my dagger. I just put this guy to sleep. Okay. <laughs> you see what looks to be a blackened mass of gnarled flesh. It looks like, like a a, a, a dark tumbleweed of skin and sinew. It is a giant land octopus in the sense that it is a mass of tar-like tentacles that clustered together stands ground to top about eight to 10 feet tall. Oh. As it pulls itself out of the water and you begin to see its full form, drawn towards the sound and noise of your recent combat, a large, sharp beak seems to snap out from the center of it as it pulls itself forward towards you, leaps in the air with an unexpected speed and strength, and lands right before you. It's going to go ahead and take its oh first round of attacks on you, as it has been. Does it sound like Tim Curry and was it in Fern Gully? <laughs> oh, yes oh, and maybe. <laughs> Hello, my darling. <laughs> uh, it's going to go ahead and use its tentacle lash. Whoosh! Which is going to go after three of you, the three up front, which mm -hmm. means in this arrangement here, mm -hmm. it's going to be against Nil, uh, Marcus, and Brigida. So, cool, cool, cool. as these tentacles whoosh, kind of sweeping out in a large arc in front of you, all three of you are taking a strike towards you, uh, going off whatever stamina you had left at the end of the last fight. Uh, that'll be ooh, uh, 20 points of physical damage. I'm going to try and dodge. All right. I will try to block. It's okay. Uh, 17. 17 is enough. You managed to dodge that roll out of the way. 15 to block. That blocks successfully, so go ahead and reduce the 20 by a d6 in whatever your physical armor is. Uh, I'm blocking with this, the shield, right. by the way. Um, so that's two, two, but then it says plus three to block. I don't know. Oh, plus oh, three that's, is the roll to try and do it. See if I yeah, got so it. it's so it's two off of that, and then whatever your physical armor. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Physical armor is D8. eight. Another two. So, so four. So you take uh, sixteen points of physical damage. Okay. Uh, I'm attempting to do a, uh, do a dodge as well. Okay. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen uh, is enough. Nice. <laughs> you roll out of the way. It's now pulling itself closer and closer towards the group and has now kind of gotten up into the next two space of the entirety of your clustered circle. But it is the player turn, so your stamina regenerates. What would you like to do? Stamina regenerates. Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to look. Uh, I'm, I'm up at the front, right, with uh, Marcus and Neil, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at Neil, who I see is a similarly brawny warrior. And I've seen. I'm sorry, bloody wolf. Very sorry. I, I just. I mean, bro. Yes, it's complicated. Like I am a hero, 
capital H, but you are all heroes, yeah, but yeah. it's bloody, you know, brawny wolf is not, sure, sure, sure. not capital B brawny, he's lowercase brawny. Um, uh, uh, it's a descriptor, less of a title. <laughs> exactly, you get it. Like one soul Ed, or right. four, you, you are four one soul? So, no, no, I'm You're four I, soul Marcus. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> We should set up Kara Jen. She's very accurate. Uh, and I'm Wait. going to um, I'm going to leap forward and do a power swing okay. Uh, okay. to try and set up uh, Kara Jen. I will right. also do the same thing. I'm still I will while while she's doing that sheet, right? Yes. Yes. I will st start stowing my uh, shield and getting ready with my uh, with my bastard okay. sword. Are you both taking two, two power two. swings at the same time? Then yes, please. All right. So as you both begin to kind of cycle around, almost like pincer attacking from the two sides of this giant land octopus, you can both roll your your power swing attack roll. Okay. That's me looking for oh, no. an in on this, this. Seventeen plus six to hit. That hits. Uh, that first one is only going to be uh, an eleven. An eleven misses, unfortunately. Mm. I'm going to use all my stamina and power swing again. Okay, Ooh. go for it. I got nothing left to dodge or block this turn. All right. I'll roll two. Oh, that's oh. eight. That's even worse. That's a eight. Oh. Oh. Stamina right, used. Right. It's too hard to find where in its body a, a, a knife strike would be. And as you do hit something, it's just exterior wounds that leave no significant impact to its health. You, however, do manage to complete the strike. I rolled a 12 on my d12, which is uh, 17 points plus nice. another two because it's a power swing. Nice. 19 points of damage on one strike. That's awesome. Um, you carve into it with your heavy two handed blade, and as it sticks into its body, it reacts and withdraws slightly. And as it does, you can see its distraction pulled away from the rest of your friends, it puts it in a somewhat unfortunately, not staggered, but frenzied, anxious position. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think I'll save my stamina, but that reduces its. Uh, it's block range. It's perfect block range by three for its, it for next, next its next attack. That's All awesome. Right. I'm going to, um, hearing Bree shout me out. Actually, at the end of its attack, it's going to go ahead and use one of its counters to take a tentacle swipe. And I'll say probably at you, because okay. you, were, uh, you were the one that recently just dug into it. Not to roll to attack, but that it is. It's staggered, right? Uh, it's not staggered. It's just it, it's, it's more range. of a. It's, this is it's like a double round setup to stagger this. Exactly. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that will be eleven points of physical damage coming your way. I'm going to take it and instead uh, step in. Okay. Uh, expending tw ten points of fo ten focus points. Correct. Right. Yeah. Um, and then uh, in instead of blocking or dodging. I'll just attack again with the weapon. Great, so you take the full brunt of that. Uh, yep, which was, what did you say, 11 points? It's 11 points of physical damage, yeah. Okay, and I have to roll to hit, right? Correct. Okay. Do I have to expend stamina to do this? No, it's a free It's a free damage as part of the skill. Well, it doesn't really matter. I rolled a two, so no! it's only eight points. No! That misses, unfortunately. <laughs> you go to the step in, you take the hit, and you go to swing, but unfortunately, it, the, the, it gets it stuck amongst the tentacles and you have to pull it free. But good try, good all right. try. Um, all right, so now you can go ahead and take your turn. All right, yeah, hearing hearing Bree shout me out, I'm going to slide, put my bow away, and run in with my shield and dagger, and try and uh, get into its uh, fleshy, weak spots. Okay. I'm going to do two dagger attacks. Two dagger attacks, go for it. Oh my god, one of them is a natural one. So oh, that's, yeah, that that's great sucks. Um, but the other's 15, which is 19. That hits. Hit. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, uh, four plus two, which is six. Basic math there. Nice, for six you. points of physical damage. It's going to use its <laughs> another, another counter to. Oh, okay. You watch as it begins to heal up its wounds. Oh, oh. not good. <laughs> it begins to regenerate areas where the, the bits of your weapons have carved through its flesh. Uh, so you, you get the sense now it can begin to heal slowly over time. Unfortunate. Um, but that is the, that's the last of its counters. Anybody else want to go? It's the last of its counters. <sighs> I can go. I mean, uh, we got to get this thing down, right? I will use my remaining stamina to attack again with my bastard sword. All right, go for it. Uh, 18 plus 6 to hit. That hits. 
Uh, two plus five, seven points. Seven points. Of and I swung right? two-handed. Uh, wait, is that right? Yes. Yeah, with your shield away. Yeah, because I put my shield away. Yes. So that's an extra. So plus another six points of damage. Ooh, so thirteen. Great. Big heavy chunks. You can now see between the the two heavy hits and the the, the retort from Nil over here. The the center of its massive tentacles is showing heavy wear and tear, and it's leaving globules of its own. Uh, necessary viscous liquids upon the beach ground around it. Uh, would you like to, or should I? Um, what I would like to do is, I would like to use and spend one stamina to throw a holy water pot directly at its eyeball. Yes. <laughs> That's such an original thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> that I've never ever done before. So roll an attack. Feels like a dream that that happened before. Foggy dream before we were a king. All right, oh, yeah. is that 15? So that's 19. 19 hits. Now, interestingly enough, you do not see an eyeball on this creature. You do see a beak that emerges from the mass of tentacles. A mouth? Yeah, but is it can be. There, there is a mouth within that beak. I'm going to throw it in the mouth. There you go. So when an eye's not available, go for the mouth. Exactly. So go ahead and roll the damage. At least you hit it in the throat, and then the throat explodes, and like. <laughs> Alright, so that's six, seven. Alright, so that's seven points of fire damage. Seven points, got it. So the beak kind of opens up and snatches, <laughs> swallows it, and it stands there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and gives this like a sorrowful screech oh, no. as you see this kind of light and this burst of smoke begin to poof out of its mouth. <laughs> Feel for you. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do in your turn? I'll, um, I'll go ahead and I'll dash forward, okay. uh, and I'm gonna plant my spear in the ground next to me, okay. and I take the staff in both hands, and I kind of I bring it out, out before me, do this, and it floats, staying right here, and these runes appear around the top of the staff, cool. and a I'm gonna cast uh, Carrion Piercer. Okay. And a spectral sword emerges from the front of the staff, cool. and I just jam it into the creature. Yeah. This massive spectral blade <laughs> emerges, and then he grabs it and thrusts forward with it for a. Uh, let's say 16 plus 9. That hits. Yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, what am I? 46. Uh, that's 15, that's uh, 10, 16, 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage, nice. All right, as the blade strikes into it, you can see now uh, this giant tentacle creature is showing some severe signs of injury, but it is angry and hungry and not backing down. I'm going to spend two more stamina to do two more dagger attacks, and the whole time I'm going to try and get his attention. Hey! Don't you touch the prophetess! <laughs> okay, that first one is a 15 to hit. 15 hits. And the second one is a 23 to hit. Both hit, go and roll damage. That is, ooh, uh, six damage for the first one and three damage for the second. Got it. Nice. You stab, stab. Now, in order to get this dagger in there, you gotta get up close and personal <laughs> with this thing. And it's just like, it's. Incredibly massive compared to you, and you're just like, oh, come on, like he's trying to shank this wall of, of flesh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but you're doing it. You feel like you're doing something. Yeah, it's awesome. a good Saturday night. Yeah, totally. All right. uh, does it cost stamina to use your either crimson or cerulean tears? It takes one. You, you don't. It doesn't you cost one, one but you. Have to have available one. Yeah, have to have one available to do it. Uh, Is that everyone's turn, or? Um, <laughs> I can. I'll, I'll do one. One more, I can do with one spear strike still with the stamina I have left, so go for I'll go it. and do that. So I, I bring the staff back around, I pull the, the spear out of the ground, and I go, it would behoove you to pay attention, and I stab the spear into the creature. You got it, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, 14? 14 hits. Hey, ho, oh, all right. This is a large entity. Uh, that would be five points of physical five damage. Five points of physical damage, all right. You stab it, and it draws back a little bit. It's starting to feel the fear a little bit, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to withdraw or if it's just going to fight that much harder. You're going to put hooves on it with magic, that's nice. <laughs> sure, why not? Yes, that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Nice, way to go! Uh, does that finish the player turn? Or yes. Is... Yeah. Okay, all right. It is now back to the 
giant land octopus's turn. Uh, it gets its counter stuff back there. It's going to attempt a grab and chew combo. Ooh. So first, it goes ahead oh, and I've been, <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Swings a wide tentacle strike over towards you, Prophetess. <gasps> Shh. Are you going to attempt to? I'm going to attempt to dodge it, and as I dodge said attack, I'm going to say, this is a not-for-profit attack. Oh. 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 <laughs> 17. 17. <laughs> dodge entirely out of the way. The words were too strong. You could see, as it rears back to strike you, it goes. <laughs> Even you realize the way. <laughs> this is the truth. And then it turns around wrong? and it's going to go ahead and <laughs> go after you. I think you're wrong. <laughs> it's going to go after you. Okay, great. Uh, since you're the other one that just stabbed it with a spear and yeah. jammed it with a giant magical sword. Um, uh, so, yeah. Okay. You take as the as it rears back the other way, a tentacle grabs and pulls you in, and the giant beak snatches onto your body and just begins to chew and grind you into its mouth. You take... Get the grab and chew combo, only at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> 24 Super points of physical Sunday. damage. Okay, am I able to dodge? If, I, if, if I, you have the stamina I have the stamina, but am I able to try and like wriggle out of the way? You can, yeah. <laughs> Uh, nope, uh, that's mm, six. Perhaps if you believed how to, you would be imbued with Perhaps. the power of the so prophetess. 24 points of physical damage okay, to you. As now you see, Marcus is legs are sticking out like Audrey too. Oh no! Just currently being chewed within the mouth of this entity. Oh no! Adam, he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, that finishes its turn. 14. It's your go. Your stamina returns. Oh yes. Uh, we gotta get. Uh, they, they're all still down still out points, of there. Correct. I believe so. I'm yeah. still narratively grappled inside this tentacles, right? I'm like narratively, inside, yeah. Yes. But you can still take your turn and pull away. Okay. Great. Um, I'm going to look. I've I've seen the prophetess hurl the holy water into the mouth of the creature, and seen that it hurt it from within. Oh no. And I look and say. Always you are showing me the way. And I'm going to leap into the mouth of the <laughs> creature and say, You're going to throw the fire pot. I am throwing the fire pot, and I'm going to leap in and say, Time for Holy Communion! And leap in and blow up with another dragon fire I'm from right attempting there. within the creature. I'm, I'm going to yank, yank uh, Twin Soul out at the same, at the same time. You should time. be here for this! Uh, um, yank and Twin Soul out. You you pull Marcus free from the 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 beaked maw of this creature just in time to have Brigida dive right back in like a slip and slide into a nightmare. Uh, all right, so go ahead and mark off your focus points. Hell yeah! And then let's roll some damage. Oh no, is this gonna hit us too? Uh, no, not from this the is inside actually, of this creature. Uh, and actually, the wording is only enemies. So yeah. my oh. fire knows who's my buddies. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, all enemies within take 5d6 fire damage. Bada boom, bada bam. Okay, that's going to be 10, uh, 15 points of fire damage. How do you want to do this? Oh! Take that. I've been watching your show for so many years. <laughs> I got to how do you want to do this? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes. Man. Um, uh, I look at you, as, as you are being pulled out and I'm leaping in my like, tons of red braids with woad and different clay in them, begin to alight my eyes, the irises go bright red, and as I'm going in I say, it is always hard to take the first step in believing. I'm gonna give you a quick smooch on the lips. <laughs> Of my helmet. <laughs> the helmet, a couple extra because it has to go through the metal. Um, uh, and I reach out to you and say, I believe! And the dragon head erupts from my body and fill roiling all the veins of this inky black monstrosity begin to glow with embers and spread down all the tentacles. The prophet just shows you the way! She just needs a fire to light it. I love a true believer. So, where once there was a small campfire, there is now 
a piratic blaze burning like a beacon in the fresh night along the beachside here, oh. as this this creature slowly comes to the end of its life, a smoldering, towering flame marking your victory. So with that, between all the soldiers and the land octopus, all of you gain. Oh, oh yes, oh. runes. Treasure. Give me them runes. 25 runes hey. from this a fight. Piece? A piece? Whoa! And from the bodies of two of the soldiers. Oh, we get items. Yes. You do also find some smithing stone shards. I'll pass one down for you all to use. Do we all get a smithing stone oh, shard? No, no, we just get a couple. Two that you found. Discard three smithing stone shards to increase a single weapon's attack bonus, a weapon's mm. damage, or a shield's block by one. So wait, each one of these that you gave us is one? Correct. Right, so, so we, we have to collect more, more of them. And so we need upgrade more someone's to do weapon. anything. Look at, right. look so you can search that. around places okay. for. Uh, looking at that right now, I know we weren't able to get the combo off this time, but it does occur to me that making a shield's block go up, mm, like mm -hmm. weapons attack bonus is good and weapons damage is good. Having the block on your block go yeah. up makes some very cool stuff happen because when you because they we like as long as they come at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I should lean into some intimidation or something some more. Put these together. Okay, okay. So now, at about this time. The night sky and the stars above, and the lands between, divided amongst the strange, shimmering, golden winds that blow through the darkness above, you can see that one thread of grace that draws you further along the coastline towards the beachside cliffs of which you were originally guided. But this moment of rest is yours. The nearby ruins to your back, the Firelit camp by the ocean and the path before you. What would you like to do? Drink some crimson tears. Okay. <laughs> as I'm very injured. <laughs> Noted. So I'll use one of those. I think I will as well, actually. Go I'm for it. I'm going to scan the horizon and see if I see any more of those um, sacred <laughs> campsites. Make a deception check. Okay, so Fifteen. Fifteen. You don't see any other sites of Lost Grace, none of those golden glimmers. All you can see is that faint thread that you saw projecting from it, arcing into the distance, leading you towards the seaside cliffs. Okay. Don't see anything. You don't see these beautiful, beautiful stars that have appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. No, I do see that. That's a gift. That's amazing. That's a gift. Lighting the way. What does it mean? That our way is lit. I'm starting to figure Brilliant. it out. I think I've, I think I've, I've got it. We're good. I figured out this whole situation here. What did you, what did you figure out? It matters that you believe. Each one of you believes in her. Of course it matters. But it, it only matters because you believe. You know, you get it? Never mind, I'm not going to explain it. If you did not care about me at all, you would not care about me at all. Exactly. Like, when she says that, how do you not jump right on board? <laughs> like, she, when she said she, she, that, the how do you time not? she repeated it, she did a slightly different inflection that means, made the whole difference. It means so much more. No, I, I yes, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Pony Tyler. You, you hit a wild bass note at the end of that. It's, a, it's miraculous we did that on a flute. I know, it's like I have a whole orchestra on this flute. Your steeds are summoned, yours less than eager, but present. Super nice. I love you. Spectral horse poops. <laughs> what does the spectral spectral horse shit? Can I just? What is he shit? Oh, it wasn't a shit. It was a ghostly. Oh, of course. Your your ghost horse did poop earlier. 
<laughs> right? Someone's did. I, I think it was also... Uh, yes, has. Uh, yes, has. If it's a ghost poop, it would hit the ground and go straight through it to the <laughs> core of the planet. <laughs> Yeah. So all the ghosts who ever poop, all their poop just collects at the very core. Yeah, what's at the core of this planet? Scientists have told us that the core of our planet is made yeah, of. That's, that's the lens underneath. <laughs> it's the. Uh... <laughs> Come here for all your Elden Ring hardcore lore. Um, Elden Ring equine needs. Yes. <laughs> you have entered the, the ghost apple lens. <laughs> um, so the way. To the castle. If, if we cannot see a, a sight of lost grace, mm -mm. then perhaps we should just continue straight on to the castle. To the cave? I the cave, yes. That yes, is where Moana said castle. that there was a secret path. All that right. Goes right there. Did you, did you all catch how Melana. Melina. Melina. That one. Whatever their name, their name was. Uh, Which is it's fine. We, yeah, I, I don't know. The whole time I was like ready to pounce and bite my throat. Absolutely. I was coiled like a spring. They knew a little too much. You did a lot of biting, huh? I only got axed for the first time like three days ago. <laughs> Huge improvement. <laughs> Before that, all biting. That's why all of your uh, teeth are all ah, no, no, yeah, you gotta jag be ready. jagged. And where I come from? And no, no, we're all in the lands between now. Where I come from, you gotta, you gotta be ready. I've had a fourth weapon this whole time. I never thought about it like that. It's beautiful. Man, you, you're all so smart. Anyway, I was curious, because this Melina? Melina. 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 Uh, person? Melina. I wrote down Melana, so I'll go with it. All right. Um, Melina. <laughs> they're like, uh, you know, go and, and go to the castle and overthrow somebody and become a lord. Is there only one of us that become a lord? Yes, I was thinking about that earlier. Is all right. like, do we all become lords, or is, just, is this like a king of the hill sort of situation? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I nominate the prophetess. Of course If it do. is only one of us. Yeah. I don't right. know that, I mean, I do not purport to speak for you, but oftentimes uh, holy people or seers do not want to be in, in a position of power or politics. I believe that it's a violation to intertwine the two. I believe that there should be a separation of sorts. That way, the amount of power does not go to one's head, and the decisions are being made with the good of the people in mind, and not just greed and how one might grow. Mm. That's the first time I believe something you said. <laughs> honestly, if I'm speaking like honestly, that was that was nice. Wow. It's who I am as a person. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right back where he was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I followed the prophetess. Very little that I know. But I do know what I don't know, which is almost everything. You're learning. So. I follow Prophetess because I believe she is the right person to lead, but if she does not want it, then I trust her judgment in that as well. I do not feel the need to be this person, but this person must be, even if it's not me. I, 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 I don't have any aspirations to be a ruler. I, I just want to find my cat. What if, in finding your new power, you could use it to find your cat? If that's what it takes. I just want to snuggle. But I feel like we are losing time. Should yeah, we I feel like there's a bridge we can cross when we get to it. Yeah. If, All right. If we get to it. Um, yeah, so it's cave, cave, right? Yes, to the but cave. perhaps we should oh. ride slowly and mm. be scanning for uh, lights off of the yes. off of the road in case we stumble upon one of those sites of of lost grace. Qua? Qu'est-ce que c'est? So you're saying that we should scan the land, scan land, if you will. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds stupid. <laughs> Look, we've taken a short halt. We should continue on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand these words. They sound raunchy and nasty. 
<laughs> I believe that we should carry on so that we don't burn daylight. Proceed. All right, Horst, Tasha, <laughs> let's go. Um, a gentle, careful trot forward along the. While perceiving, <laughs> while perceiving. Indeed. Uh, who is. Who, I'll say two of you can keep point on being lookout to roll perception I have checks. Good perception. I can take a look out. Oh. I perceived once uh, and didn't find anything. So. I'll make, I don't, I'm not going to do perception because I don't have good perception, but I, I'll make a survival. I can I make a survival check to maybe give us advantage on a later stealth check? Ooh. I'll allow that, yeah. To go ahead and, and gauge the landscape around you and yeah. ensure that you know kind of the best ways to adapt to the topography ahead. Mm. Did a little mid session dice swap out. I had to go back to the, the, the good performers here. Let's see. Hey, all right. Uh, 17. 17. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Yeah. You, oh. now, noting the, the rocky formations that form the edge of the seaside cliff, you get the sense that a lot of the rocks are hollow. Um, at least towards the, the base elements, a lot of them kind of volcanic in, in uh, makeup, which would probably. One, make that a lot of the ocean shore uh, and, and, and wind moving elements to cause a lot of sound. So as long as you can keep your movement uh, almost blending in with the sound of that wind and whistles that might permeate around there, it might help you blend in a little better. So that will help in future stealth rolls. Cool. Uh, as I gallop, I am also sort of just saying, <laughs> and I rolled a 18 perception. Got it. And that would be a, a 19 perception. 19 perception. One, you both keep eyes out towards the shoreline ahead of you and can see some sort of a, a, uh, a large ox-type creature that has fallen on the side and is currently being pulled apart and eaten by smaller versions of those same tentacled masses that you had just mm -hmm. fought. And so with that, you manage to kind of scoot a distance. They seem so enthralled with their current meals, they do not pay attention. Thankfully, noting their presence at a distance, Bree, so you avoid that. Is that your pet boar, the one that's eating the octopus? Look out! Being eaten by. Or being, I look out. Uh, Make a perception check. Uh, ten. Ten. Hard to tell at this distance, but probably not, given the fact that they did not travel with you. No. No, I do not think that boar is Tasha. Tasha is safe. Back where I left her. Wait, I'm sorry, is your horse's name Horse Tasha? Like, that's the whole name? Because <laughs> your boar was Tasha. In my boar Tasha, if I name Horse Tasha, then I get them confused. Right, so his name is Horse Tasha. Yeah, my horse, Horse Tasha, because he's... <laughs> You say this like I wrong, but no, you no, actually I just, I, I what just, I do no, look, makes I just sense. So you just say you know. No, I just understood. You're very smart guy. You do wizard magic, and so I feel judge when creatures? you go like why eat horse stuff. <laughs> Keep it a little bit. You say you command a lot of status, no, so like when you say stuff no, this judgmental, I, I wasn't being judgmental. I was just trying to. I just understood it. I was just I was just pointing out something. that I just got it. Okay, like it's me. Yes, I name. Horse, horse Tasha, because if horse is just Tasha, then there is two Tashas, and it's really confusing. Right, <laughs> except the other one's not here. Yeah, but I think about her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> While you were having this debate, you keeping your keen eyes out can see there is a path that curves up, and what you, in the little bit of low light that's coming through the strange and <laughs> lit sky above, a, an entryway that carves into the seaside rock. The cave. The cave ahead. I have spotted it. So, when we approach, I, there could be guards. There could be traps. There could be any number of hidden monsters. Should we go sneakily or just charge right up? I vote yes. Yes to which one? Sorry, sneaky. <laughs> okay. I am also for the sneaking. Prophetess has the best ideas. The prophetess has spoken. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna jump up on a on a little rock outcropping mm -hmm. and try to look around for like the wind moving through the stones and see if there's some way to approach the cave or some other if like mm -hmm. like it, it's formed by like the sea and wind coming mm -hmm. in. So I wanna you know try to use that earlier survival check and see if there's some better way to approach the cave or some other okay. little eddy or crevice. As you head up to the side and you clamber up up one of the larger kind of rock elements, the wind kind of blows by in gusts, and as it does, it hits some of the openings, kind of where the uh, seaside erosion has impacted with the volcanic rock, and occasionally 
creates these tones. He's, and you note that almost maintaining some of those tones as you carefully move through could help blanket some of the general travel noise, as well as maintain the idea that the wind is undisturbed passing through the cave. I look at the little spectral like whistle in my hand and look at the little holes in it, and I say, there are signs everywhere. Whistle, bring horse Tasha. Cave is a whistle. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, you're so good at this. Uh, and I'll try to help us on a, on a stealth roll, like using that wind cover to get in. Okay, so you'll have to dismount and disperse your horses to step through stealthily, but yeah. as you set the steeds off to wherever realm they were brought from, I would like you all to make a stealth check. As part of your roll earlier, I will say that one of you is allowed advantage after rolling. Okay. After rolling? Like. Cool. Uh, so like, okay. like in a, so just in case? It. Yeah, one re-roll, essentially. Like one more to roll a seven, if it were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. 12. 12, okay. And 11 for me, 12, 7. 14. 24. So, so Prophetess should probably re-roll. Go for it. With the gift of foresight, she rolls again. <laughs> Wait, what were we rolling? <laughs> <laughs> She's the best prophet ever. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> Whoa, it's a 15, okay. Okay. Which? She's not a prophet, she is a dingbat. <laughs> <laughs> With the guidance of nature and your protector, you all begin to huddle into this tight cavern space, gently and occasionally following their lead. To kind of carry that, that hum and whistle of the wind. Uh, which becomes a bit challenging the further in you go, as the low-tide seaside stench gives way to a much stronger, rich scent of damp earth, still water, and rot. Fleshy rot. Stepping in deeper and deeper, as the cavern almost begins to curve in an incline, you begin to see signs of small ramshackle structures, huts or buildings that are cobbled together with scavenged stone and, and, and wood, bits of, of leather that have been stretched over, and piles of refuse that stink horribly. You can see broken weapons and what look to be bones scattered about, picked clean. Can I look at the bones and see if I can discern what Turned them to bones. You can make an investigation check if you'd like. Investigation. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I mean, I can read it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 20 total. 20 total, yeah. Glancing down and looking into the space, this looks to be uh, almost like a, a sentry point. Like it's, it's placed in a way where someone would watch and keep an eye from the cave. Uh, but there's nobody at the sentry point at the moment. A sentry point for a general like military positioning, but the construction here is very rudimentary. Like old as fuck? Like, no, like recently built, but just cobbled together. Gotcha. Of creatures not as refined as the, maybe the soldiers that you battled before. And looking at the build and looking at the bones, you can see a whole manner of scrapes and gashes across the bones that you ascertain to be teeth marks. You can see some are broken and some have been sharpened. It looks like there are elements of them have been carved and whittled and possibly used for tools that are not present here. The, bo the bones? Elements of the bones here. The, these that remain here are humanoid, and it looks like they're the remains of numerous meals. Mm. It's at this point you hear upwards in the cavern. And you hear about a dozen other voices. A dozen? I'm going to look over. I think we hear about trolls before, things like that. Now might be a good time to retreat and make a plan. Uh, Without stepping on anything that might make a loud noise that might draw more attention. Uh, 
they've they've clearly been alerted. We have the, we've gotten in here theoretically stealthily, mm-hmm. and this is a sentry point that we know they're going to come to to look <coughs> out on. Mm-hmm. Is there are there crevices or niches around mm-hmm. here that we can mm-hmm. ambush? ambush and try to set up an ambush? Dark shadows. Glancing around in this space, mm-hmm. very clearly, yeah, there are a number of outcroppings in small bits of wedged stone entryways where you could very easily step off to the sides and prepare yourselves if that be what you wish. Yeah. Uh, any awful or like nasty remnants around here, I'm just gonna reach down, grab, <clears throat> and just rub on myself really quickly and say, mm. Prophetess, you, um, your resplendent holiness, I, am I permit to, am I, can I? I, I think that I will find another way, but I appreciate <laughs> your, your, Okay, just in enthusiasm. No, no judgment in brainstorm. Bring it over here. I'll yeah. take it. Yes. Ah. 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 <laughs> you, I really, I get we you. Vibe. We vibe. I get you. <laughs> I'll also take some bones and just sort of cover myself up in bones. Okay. I'm just gonna hide behind a rock. <laughs> okay. Like a normal person. Marcus, brilliant. Marcus, there's a bunch of blood and poop on the ground. You want some on no, you? Don't even cog my armor. Good point. Yeah, that's mm. good thinking. He's a smart guy. Um, Kara's really confused and doesn't know what to do, so she just kind of like flops prone and just kind of <laughs> rolls. Perfect, you look like a dead body, exactly. Okay, and then, yeah, I rolled to the corner and just like, ah. How do you okay. with these people? <laughs> Prophetess, are you hiding amongst the cavern walls with them? You know that thing that you do where you climb up the inside of a wall or like mm-hmm. a door frame, mm. and you do oh, that thing. Push off. Kind of hold I don't know that there is a door frame, <laughs> but Probably not. I would like to do that, but like under a rock, like sprawl out like that under a rock in this weird shape. Like knees out to the right, okay. the left, arms up, okay. and then just kind of. Just kind of perched. Yes. Okay. She's got magic Land and core weight. strength. <laughs> so rare to find both. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As you all kind of settle into your spaces, about that time you can hear. And the sound of numerous feet beginning to tear through. As you all kind of carefully, quietly hold your breath in that space, you see figures begin to step from deeper in the cavern. Initially, you see about four or five hunched looking humanoid figures, these kind of uh, wide arches to their long necks, and these kind of protracted lower jaws with hooked, broken teeth beneath. They look almost like they were human or mockeries of humanity that have been twisted by some dark magic over time or by some dark ritual. Uh, You can see on them bits of hide and leather armor that they've either cobbled from the corpses of those they've eaten or have placed together by other kills in the region. They carry with them large clubs and scavenged blades, and you see them kind of walking through Sniffing, as the four of them step out, two larger ones kind of pull in from behind them, each looking like a a pair, male and female chieftains almost, themselves more heavily armored, both of them holding what looks to be large, almost machete-like blades towards the bottom of the hands and just kind of (laughs) And you see behind them, two more of the smaller ones. So eight of them in total with the two larger ones. But they are stepping right into the center of this chamber and for the moment have not noticed you. But they do smell something is up. The moment that the, so you said there's four, two big ones, two big ins. And then two of the regular ones again in the back. And then two of the regular ones. Um, What, in terms of, Spatial awareness. Are all of them within the same distance category? Are all of them generally clumped enough close together that we, they would be considered in the same distance category? We'll say, from a spatial yeah. awareness standpoint, if the cavern goes this way, you have all kind of taken to the sides. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are the two large ones. There are these four up front, about here. Then there are these two, kind of to the flank right there. That's a whole bunch of bad guys. So you're saying that all of those would technically count within a short distance? They would, yeah. 
Nice to know. I, kind of prone on the ground, as the cluster of four start to step over my body, I'm going to roll over and go, no! And I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna do a spinning slash to the four that I'm near. Okay, so you do now have an ambush round, which means you guys get to go first. Yes. 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 Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. We've that stuff yeah. paid off. Feels good. So, so yeah, that's me. And if yep. I can like kind of roll into them. Into here? Into the can I kind of get in the center of them so I can hit all four of those yeah, fuckers? I'd allow that. You can swing in there. Oh my god. That one's drunk. There you go. Yeah. Go, go for it. Shifting. You're drunk. All right. So how many am I hitting with my spinning slash? Four. Slide? Four. Attacks against all of them, correct? Yep. My scimitars. Okay. Uh, first one's a natural 19. Hits. Woo! Uh, second one is a 15 total. Hits. I've got an 18 total. Hits. And another 15 total. Hits. All of them hit. Oh, wow. That's huh. solid. Let's hug -o. Okay. And oh, nope, nope. You don't count. Go away. Okay. And so, damage here. Pretty good. Uh, eight damage to the first. Okay. One, two, three, four. Those are four of their rolls. Um, six damage to the second. Okay. Twelve damage to the third. Okay. Eleven damage to the fourth. Dang. Nice. That's a great round. <laughs> this whirlwind of blades after screaming now, getting all of your attention, all of a sudden, <laughs> they all kind of pull their weapons free and spin around. However, you're spinning much faster and sh begin to ginsu your way between the center of that fray. <laughs> As an immediate counter, oh no. both of the demi-human chiefs there are going to, they're both going to go ahead and just slash at you oh with no. their blades. Okay. Uh, so that's two strikes against you, if you would like to dodge or block any of them. You tell my damage first, right? Mm-hmm. It's 11 physical damage and 11 physical damage. They both rolled the same. Okay. I'm going to 11 and 11. I'm gonna block the first one. Come okay. On. Perfect block. Give me a perfect. No, big no. Uh, That's imperfect. Very <laughs> imperfect. Six. So nothing. no, so you take this eleven minus your armor roll. Right, 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 right. No. Ten. So uh, nope, wrong side of the pencil. <laughs> Thirty-eight. Got this. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go to Vegas, baby. Blocking again. Okay, go for it. Come on! <laughs> oh! Wait! Yes! 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 yes. yes. That was a. 18! I did it! A three act play! Woo! Perfect hit! Because I'm a plus two my block! It's a perfect block. Perfect block! So the first one just. Foaming out the back! The first blade kind of catches you off the side of the cheek and the jaw, and the searing pain's there. The anger builds in you, and as the other blade comes toward you, you pull your, your shield up. And actually push them back. You take zero damage from the attack, and they are staggered. Staggered. What is so which one, one is staggered? This one is staggered Incredible. there. What does okay. staggered, staggered mean uh, mechanically? Mechanically, staggered means uh, the next attack against it has advantage and does an additional 1d12 damage. Uh, I have a su like single target attack that can really. Oh. Go, for yeah, it. go, go, go. No, you go. Go. No, 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 no. You can do, do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, because I can attack all of them in one fell swoop. Here you go. I would like to. Maybe you should hold that until, until. Like a death nail? Well, no, you can still do it. So wait, but, but if he has a powerful single attack, it's only one advantage, right? It's only it's, it's only one one. Yeah, advantage technically, it's a bunch of attacks. At all, so I would only get advantage on one of them. So if yours is one roll, then go ahead and do it. Is yours a roll, or is it just a just a thing that happens? No, it's an attack roll with a plus five on every enemy in front of you within a short distance. So gotcha. But your individual attacks as well. It's not just yeah. one so roll. So you yeah. go. Ahead. I will or I could yeah, do a yeah, gigantic you, swing you, you against this thing. You can do a one thing. single attack, and whoever does that, yeah. I'll say this: I have a I have a spell that is an attack against a single target, and if it hits, it does a bunch of that damage to that, everyone that, around yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Um, you win rock paper scissors. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's a tactical roll. rock paper scissors. <laughs> uh, and a, qu a question about about skills and abilities. Yeah. 
can you, I know you can only use one per turn. Can you use both if you have the focus points to use both, or is it just one spell per? It's just one spell per turn. Cool. Uh, it's just kind of the limitation, unless it says otherwise. Okay. Like he has one that he can do multiple, multiple times, times in a turn, but it's yeah. the little pebbles. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, this is Feast Upon Flame. Uh, roll an attack roll uh, against the target on a hit. They, they take damage no matter what, but mm -hmm. it's better if it hits. Oh yes, that's a twenty-one. Twenty-one definitely okay. hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, uh, so uh, the big, the big, the one that you just staggered um, is going to take sixty-six fire Ooh, damage plus the d twelve. Plus the d twelve. Oh, I got it. Oh, gang, we didn't think we were going to use it before. Hold on. Hold on. Get it out. Here. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Hold on. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. Here we go. Oh, okay. The bounty. The bounty. The D12s are the loneliest number. <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian hit points, Barbarian. great axes. <laughs> that, that's and that's kind of all she wrote. It's like the xylophone of D&D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which bolt, thankfully, does give it a little love. OK, 66 uh, uh, D12. Oh my oh, god! Oh, Holy Jesus. shit! Jesus. Okay, that's 15, <laughs> that 21, 25, a one on the D12. D12, you had one chance. <laughs> this was your moment and you blew it. I'm so sorry to say. Yep. Um, uh, okay. uh, that is 31 Whoa. points of damage Whoa. to the demi human chieftain. You got it. Uh, and then. Everyone else within short distance takes 4d6 fire damage. Go, let's do oh, it. Every Hell enemy, yeah. or are you also every gonna... enemy? Okay, every okay, enemy. Okay, enemy. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. uh, and I think I don't think that d12 gets added to the, uh, to no. the no, no, no. Just that initial hit. <laughs> you gotta ask. Of course, um, of course. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, that's great. Okay. Uh, uh, 15 wow. damage. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, I looked down to see you staggering the, the thing. Like. Oh. like Covered in awful, <laughs> big ball of flame throughout right at the demi human. I just it, use my shield to block from the fire. To, to block just this area? Yes. Right there, this <laughs> tiny little buckler in the arm. <laughs> it does singe some of your hair off. But as the flames erupt around you, the, the divine protection from whatever entity this seal is marked towards that you hold in your hand and your, your devotion to the prophetess, you are not yourself burned. However, uh, the flames erupt around and engulf the space. The two that you had slashed fall to the ground, Ooh. screaming ah! before curling Ooh. up and are no longer living while everything else stands there, ah! kind of reeling from the fire angrily. Amazing. Uh, fantastic. That big guy's still alive? Oh yeah, that? they're still they're still standing oh, and the other four around there are still standing as well. Okay, okay, okay. So, who else yeah, wants yeah, to go yeah. now? Yeah. Go. Yeah, go All right. Um, Marcus will step up from behind the rock and goes, well, if we're all doing something flashy, then I'll, and he takes the, uh, <laughs> takes the staff and he basically, he like, he spins it around his back and spins it up above his, twirls it above his head and as it spins, it creates five points of light, these five pebbles, Ooh. and they're gonna strike one at each yes. around. So it will hit the, uh, the two chieftains. Right there? Yeah, and then I'll hit the two in front. Okay, go for it. And then one in the ones in the back, because I'm doing five, sure. which is all my stamina. So I'm gonna roll five d20s here. Dude, you have five d20s? I do. Uh, okay, first one. one is going to be a... What's You're one? the That's anomaly one? here, <laughs> not us. 17. Hits. Uh, that one's going to be a... Above a seventeen, so I assume it hits. hits. Uh, that one is a natural one, so no. Nope. Uh, then that's a fifteen, hits. sixteen, and then a uh, eighteen. Hits. Okay, right, great. So those two and those two hit. Yeah. So for the two chieftains. Two chieftains. That is one d four plus five. They're called in the game. So first Chiefs. one is uh, <laughs> eight points of damage, eight magic damage. Yeah. Next one eight is uh, seven points of magic damage. Seven points of magic. Then. Nine points of magic damage. Wow. And seven points of magic damage. The two pebbles hit the two chieftains in the head. You see, like, one of them, their eye is now kind of partially blown out of the socket, and like a little bit of crimson is running out of its face. Starts screaming. The other one took it heavy to the throat, and you can see there's a big Ooh. lump already swelling. These two both just get pierced by it. It Ooh. literally cuts through them, leaving a solid hole, and they both just yes. collapse to the ground, right. the life leaving them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, who's next? Oh, 
Actually, you know what? No, at the end of the turn, uh, they're both going to take their counters, the, the second counters for the chieftains, and they're both going to take uh, an additional strikes. <laughs> Um, well, it's not, no, because it spells. I can still use stamina to dodge, to dodge and block. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, since you're right in that space, I'm going to say this one here is going to come towards you, and this one's going to go ahead and see, keep focused on. No, you, you fucking threw a fireball. It's going to come after you too. <laughs> As they both kind of dart over in this space and are going to arc towards you. Oh. Okay. I'm fine. Don't worry. Okay. Damn. Okay. So that is Marcus 14 points of physical. And 14 points of physical. 14 points of physical. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and block with my shield. I'm going to try blocking. I haven't done that yet. Go for it. Uh, 14. Wait, 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 uh, reduced to that by three, so. Got it. Uh, by seven. So okay. how much was the damage? Uh, the damage was 14. 14 minus, so, so seven. minus three, and then minus your armor. Oh, yeah, minus my armor. Okay, that finishes their reactions and counters. Who else wants to go this turn if they haven't already? I will draw my my seven, bastard five. sword and sort of scrape it along the, the rock wall, making Shh. sparks fly as right. I jam it two-handed into the one that's severely hurt. Uh, they're both pretty hurt. The one that's, one that's hurt the most would be uh, this her. one there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for her. Go for it. Uh, 11 plus 6 to hit, 17. That hits, go for okay. damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm using two-handed strike, yes. Come on, d12. Uh, 13 <laughs> plus 2, uh, so 15 points of damage. Great. The blade carves through across the shoulder, and you see it gets caught like in the upper chest area in the armor. The creature reaches up and then grabs the blade, looks you in the face before yanking and pulling it out of their own flesh. As they're back. pulling Ooh. it out, I'm going to force it back down and, and uh, hit again with Go the for same it. sword. Uh, 18 plus 6 that to hit. That definitely hits. Go and roll damage. Same everything. Come on. 12 Way. plus everything. 17, 22 points of Yay. damage. You, you forget from the, it being pulled back out of the wound. You <laughs> down, it sinks even lower into the shoulder. It's now about two inches Ooh. past where the top is. Ooh. The creature screams in pain at your face. Blood kind of. Kind of means to split out of its chin. It looks very hurt. Okay, that's probably all I, all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna stand locked, locked with it, with my sword. All righty. Anybody else? Um, I'm gonna. Wait, first I'm gonna ask: Is everyone good on hit points? Everybody's. I am at half for now. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, no. I'm all right. Define I'm okay. I'm just ten down. I'm, yeah. I'm still pretty good. I'm about eighty percent. I'm good. Yeah, also about 80%. Marcus is rough, but he's not a believer, so. <laughs> no, I'm important, it's fine. You do what you're going to do. All right. So I am going to take this opportunity to attack all of the remaining standing beasts. Mm -hmm. Oh. And if I'm going to attack a beast, so you're gonna I'm going to need. to get the, all of them in the front of you? Yeah. All righty, go for it. A beast claw. <laughs> okay. And so I'm gonna go after all of them, and again, pull them out. They come out in a cone. So this time I would like to shoot it out and have them kind of surround them, and just have like the blades surround, surround, and then just they just carve and rake through them like massive divine. How many of them are left standing? Sides. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, four standing currently. All right, so First let's one see. is. That's a. 15 plus 5, so that's a natural 20. Yes. <laughs> natural 20 on the first one? Mm -hmm. So that's a natural 20 on him. And then it's a 13. Mm -hmm. And then it's a natural 1, which is a 6 after everything. So and done. this is. And then an 11. Okay, gotcha. Uh, the 11. Actually, just hits on the last one there. Yay! Little guy. So you do miss that one, the one that's the most wounded, but the other three you do manage to hit. So go ahead okay. and roll damage. And then those all take the same damage, so it'll keep it easy. Does right, that so net 20 get double? 
Was it a natural 20 or was it 20 total? No, it was a natural 20. Oh, then, then it would be double the dice on that Ooh. first guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then it's going to be, I just counted this, I'm dumb. Um, yeah, so that's eight plus five. 13 in the first? Mm-hmm. Or uh, eight, 16, yeah, he's dead. Yay! <laughs> the blade just wow. carves through him, he's like and just crumples into pieces in the ground. And then it's eight plus, you said f- five mm-hmm. for the rest of them? Yeah. Okay, so 13 and 13 there. He's also shush, taken out in the back there. All the little dudes have now been sundered. The two are still standing. They're both <clears throat> looking angry and furious. All of their uh, current companions in the middle of this kind of desolate, withered cave have now been brought low to the ground, and you can see the rage and fury building in their eyes. Let's finish the player turn. I have one last thing I can do. I don't know if anyone else has any other actions. No, I'm out. Uh-huh. Cool. Take, well, I'm just going to take a swing with the battle axe. Go for it. Um, that's going to be a 15 to hit. 15 hits. Against which one of the two? Uh, I'll do whichever one is looking sadder. Got it. That's the one that, that one your blade my, is still stuck in right stuck now. Into, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going <laughs> to look at it and say, I, I like your work. Um, and. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's an eight on the die. That's going to be uh, 12. 12. It carves in, shoot, and you now have two blades, two weapons stuck into this creature. It's like, <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> it's dense like wood, like chopping wood, you know? <laughs> I can't get this out. <laughs> Angrily, it growls beneath the, the impact and pain of your two weapons. Uh, does that finish the player turn? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, retribution turn is up. Uh, the one that the one that's there against the two of you is going to go ahead into a, a furious dagger combo. It's going to get three strikes, so it's going to take one, two, three. Sure. So uh, taking this here. Which one is this? The big guy, or the other big guy? This is this. They're both because it's the one that they have both of their blades stuck into is going to go ahead and just like swing out with its daggers multiple times. So against you, uh, that's going to be twelve points of physical damage. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll try to block it. I'll block it, why not? Okay. Um, just with my with my sword, I yeah. guess. Uh, 15 plus one, 16 to block. That'll block it, so you get to reduce the damage by a d6. And Four. your armor. Oh, yeah, that's right. What was his, his roll? Uh, it was 12. I rolled four and an eight. No, no damage. damage. <laughs> the blade streaks across the, bl- the edge of your sword as you parry to the side. Against you, Brigitte, uh, that is going to be uh, 14 physical damage. Okay, let's go ahead. 40 physical mm-hmm. damage. Um, let's go ahead and try to dodge that. Um, okay, go ahead and roll for your dodge. Uh, 22. 22. You pull your axe free right as the blade comes towards you and just roll backwards out of the way. Oh. It goes free Come into the back. air. <laughs> I need you. Uh, as it comes towards you for a 22 points of physical damage. Uh, I will use uh, step in. I'll just take it. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I will drive the blade deeper and lower as I do. Okay, so 22 minus your armor roll. And then, oh, yes, uh, armor gets me over. Two, so 20. so 20 points of physical damage, and go ahead and roll your attack. Uh-huh, uh-huh. okay. Uh-huh. 14 plus six. 14 plus six. How do you want to do this? Oh, yeah! Yeah! Huzzah! Uh, I've, uh, I, uh, I've been watching the show for years, I've never got a chance to do this! <laughs> Um, the blade is already partially sunken into this creature, um, and so I will just lock eyes with it and just say, I want my cat! And I will push the blade further and further down it's, towards its midsection. It strikes upward and sticks its own blade kind of in your abdomen oh, as you're doing that. Oh, 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 and you push it onto the ground, <laughs> pushing your blade all the way through it. It kind of like, kind of separates in the center. <laughs> <sighs> that was really hot. <sighs> Thank you. I, just, I mean, I didn't try to do it in a hot way, no, but, but if it did. came out. But in you hot did. Way, you know, hey, it. don't always plan for no, these things. A, like a, like a, like a, je ne sais quoi about you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's it's something we say back home. It's oh. fine. It's it's, uh, it's just you, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
The other one is going to go ahead and do its dagger combo. And it's going to dart back and forth between the prophetess and the warrior over here. It's going to to a strike to each of you. So for you, not hard, not hard, just me. At first, that is twenty points of physical damage. Oh no! But but she's the chosen one. Do you have any stamina to try and avoid? Dodge or do anything? I could do something, but I'm gonna like. Just gonna, just gonna let it ride for the okay. moment. Okay. okay, so reduce reduce the amount by your armor roll, your armor dice. Two. All right. So it's 18 points of physical damage to you. For you, Marcia, that is gonna be 14 points of physical damage. I will parry. <laughs> parry. <laughs> parry. Oh, parry. <laughs> It's it has good. like a je ne sais quoi to it. it does. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I right? Saying it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, to be fair, that's how French people it's really are. It's right. the yeah, gig being the sole voice of reason in the lands between. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really rough, man. I'm so sorry. I'm starting to think it's me. I'm starting to think I'm not. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, you do any multiplayer in Soulsborne games and you feel like the only person knows what to do and everyone shows yeah. up in weird hats. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was supposed to look cool. <laughs> Is that Shrek? What the? 15. 15. 15 uh, will block, so you reduce <laughs> the damage I do not, yeah. by d6 yeah. on top of your armor. Did not stagger. Ugh. So 14 yeah. minus. Oh, right. Wait, a d6 plus my armor? Correct. So 2d6? Because you did block, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's very. It's a I rolled a one and a two. Oh, it's pretty okay. weak. Uh, so 11, so what points, should I? 11, 11 points of physical damage. Uh, and then yeah. back to you, Prophetess. Oh. That is, okay. Uh, 18 points of physical damage. Okay. God. I'm going to block. Okay. Natural 20. Natural 20. Ah! Ah! You're the prophet. You're the prophet. Ah! You can see the future. Ah! The divine prominence that has been granted <laughs> via visions to the prophetess. I and love you so much. <laughs> I get it. I got it from you. It just and then back. It's a feedback. But bro, bro, can you come on? Bro, 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 I believe in you. You did something that I saw. Don't try to make a subjective, philosophical like it's all relative. This is she the real deal. Oh, man. Her eyes. She did something. It was her. Her eyes are mine, and mine are hers, and it is a constant feedback loop. Why don't you see it? Who <laughs> could So it's a perfect block. You take zero damage. And is there any? And that, that was the last. And they are staggered. Oh. So as you, in that moment, the pain from the first strike hits you. You watch they swing over towards uh, Kara. And then swings back towards you, and without even thinking, like full on Neo in the Matrix, slow block, you just shield comes up, boof, whack, and just slam it back in their face. Oh. And you can see now, they already have one eye blown out, the other one now is like currently held back, and they're just having a rough day. Can I, I can, but I can answer that, right? Well, you can now because it's the player turn, they're done. Yeah. That was their whole turn. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Yes. Oh, we so any movement doesn't back? like mess with him on the stagger. Like there's only one movement allowed after like he's already staggered, right? That Correct. would like have the advantage. Correct. Only one attack gets advantage against him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Then I'm gonna use that opportunity to take my holy water pot, and he's like staggered, staggered. So like I could walk up to him at this point. Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to get really, really close. And take the holy water pot, put it between my fingers like this, and walk up to him, and then slam it in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> okay, so roll. Oh, I get advantage. You do. Come on. All right, so that's a 16 plus 15. Oh, Five. dirty 20. Woo. Dirty 20, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll the damage of the holy pot, plus 1d12. <sighs> That's your right there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I don't use it, so I don't know what it looks like. Fight <laughs> <laughs> a nickel. All right, so let's see. That is three points plus five, so eight. Eight points of holy damage to it. Jim in its mouth. <laughs> this like holy smoke apparates from it. 
and the smoke has almost like an, an incense, like sensor burning scent to it, like a faint clove essence to it. It's rather nice, brimming forth from the creature's jaw. <laughs> it's looking hurt. That was definitely a rough hit on its gullet. Nice, nice. Well, it's all of our turns now, yeah. correct? Yeah. It's all, you can keep going if you want to, the stamina. Anybody else can jump oh, in if you still, want he's, to. He's, he's no longer staggered. No correct. longer staggered, correct. Okay. I do want to take, I want to do something, but I yeah, want to yeah. take the opportunity. Yeah, and at that moment, the prophetess falls over and she goes, <laughs> ah! oh. And all of a sudden, a giant like burst of light comes out of her and she is going to cast heal. Oh. Okay. So that she can not only heal herself, but all of the people around her can oh, heal her. Yes. 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 Oh my god. That's a lot. I could use it. Healers, man. All right, so that is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you each get 12 points nice. damage. Oh. Back to full. I get oh my four. god. Oh, wait. Was that plus five? Did I do plus five? How much did I say? You got a seven and a five, 12. which is tw uh, 12. 12 and then okay, five. oh, plus five, yeah. Oh, plus another five? So 17. 17 points you get. Oh, dang. And then I get 48 plus five. Wow, wow. wow. That Thank really you. helps. All right, so that's seven, that's great. nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah. So 19 points of damage back, which I got 20, so. There you go. Boom, she's right back where she. That's fantastic, wow. heck yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Still don't believe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that, that was that was wonderful. I, that's very helpful. I believe in that. That was great. But I'm not. I didn't say magic didn't exist. <laughs> I'm in fact doing it a minute ago. You kind of did, you know. Remember when we get out of the cave. You're like, I don't think magic real. Remember no, you said I, that? No, I didn't say that. I don't know. I, I don't remember. I was missing my pig. Okay. <laughs> I, I can ask, yeah. You're so good. Do you need anything? Uh, is that taking you want pillow? Look, okay, and I just I go. <laughs> <laughs> I take my spear. I'm gonna make three strikes with the spear. Nice, three strikes. Uh, no, two strikes because I don't have enough stamina to do three. There That's you go. It costs two, so I'll do two strikes with the spear. Um, okay, uh, one is uh, 14. 14 hits, and the other is eight. Eight misses. Uh -huh. but you got one strike off on it. All right, so that's. Uh, um, eight points of physical. Eight points of physical damage to it. Shit, the spear hits. Yeah. Takes the impact, but it's still holding strong. God damn it. The other one was when they got wrecked really early. This one's taking some wounds, but it's still holding on. Uh, I'm going to run in and try to set up Karajan again. Right. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to not preserve any of my stamina for reaction. I'm just going to take two power swings again. Go for and it. And try to, try to create that block. Love it. Okay, so you take your first power swing. Go ahead and roll for an attack. Okay, first power swing here. Uh, that's going to be a 21 to hit. That hits, go roll damage. Uh, that's going to be, uh, ooh, ooh, eight plus six is 14, 14. And the perfect block range comes down the next time someone tries to block it. Um, so yeah, 14 damage. And I'll go for power swing. I'll go for power at swing. The, at the end of your first attack, it's going to go ahead and use a counter to go ahead and shoulder check you. Uh, that's going to be 13 points of physical damage. Uh, take it. Okay. Boom. Take it. <laughs> to the limit. <laughs> okay. Uh, power swing number two coming in. Uh, that's Jeez. twenty-two. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, and that's going to be uh, ten, uh, uh, twelve points of damage. Twelve points of damage. As you just sit carving with your axe, it's starting to, like sections of its armor are starting to fall free, and you can see now like the the bony malformed rib cage beneath the skin that's like pushed against it is beginning to carve away. You can see the muscle exposed and it's starting to flail about angrily, taken over by the rage of pain. Um, and I think in order to try to get it to target uh, Karajan, I'm gonna like wail on it with my battle axe and then do like a acrobatic barbarian backward somersault to the range increment away from it to give try to give it fewer targets. You got there. it. Cool. All right, so from there you rush forward and dart backward, leaving it in the open. You got it. Who's up next? Um, as Bree somersaults backwards, I'm gonna slide under her with my scimitar and pop out, coming out from behind. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. 17? 17 hits. That is seven damage. Seven damage, it's gonna use its second counter to go ahead and shoulder check you for 13 points of physical damage. Fly to the block, to the block. Parry. 
Okay. Oh, you're so doing it now. I'm doing it now. Do my do my two stack? Is that four? Is that is because it's two each time? I'll allow it. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's his extra stamina to build up for that. That's mainly the, the you said point. Barry of it. last time, but once. it's a new yeah, it's a new round. Okay, okay, hang on. So, yeah. You're right. You're right. A, I just want to make sure I'm trying to focus form. points. Our I didn't track it before. Um, there it is, Perry Mason, if you will. Perry. So how? What's my range? You get another minus four just from my power swings. So a. So 17 plus. 13 plus. 13 plus, yeah. Wow, wow. Come on, come on. Not that one. I don't believe in that one. Whoa. I believe in you. Don't fuck me, Gil. Roll a natural one. Oh, oh no. Gil. Fucking Gil. God, God damn it. it. <laughs> uh, so, um, no block, unfortunately. So 12 points of physical damage reduced by your armor roll. Okay, so that's eight points of damage. Not too bad. Uh, bummer. That's okay. It's a worthy um, setup. Thumbs the dice. Three behind. Sorry. Three behind is like no. It's great. It's like foreshadowing. When this goes off in the final final battle, it's gonna be huge. Like we, you know, teased it so much. Like it's gonna be awesome. The prophetess really does speak through you. <laughs> I'm gonna attack again. Go for it. Uh, one. That's two stamina. So two more stamina. Ah. Uh, uh, and that's that's a natural eighteen. <laughs> where, that, where, <laughs> where were you? <laughs> <sighs> okay, and ten to six on ten d six. So that's nine damage. Nine points of damage. No, sorry, ten damage. Ten, ten damage. damage. You got it. All right. So, angrily, you come back, shush, cut through once more. Shush, a heavy blow to its back. <laughs> it's bleeding heavily. It's looking rough. Jeez, God. Um, Someone put I'm it to bed. I'm gonna use my last stamina just. Drink a flask of cerulean tears because I am very low on focus points. You got uh, it. I haven't I haven't acted on this round, so I'm going to just get right in front of this monster's grill and uh, put the bastard sword away and draw the long sword and my shield, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to do a, a strategy poke poke poke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. Uh, multi attack with the long sword thrusting, so okay. I get a plus two to the attack bonus. Uh, 13 plus a lot, so 19. That hits. Okay. Uh, should I do damage now? I'll just no, do all the attacks. Okay. Uh, 12 plus 8 is eight is 20. That hits. And 19 plus a ton. That hits. Okay, so d8, d8, d8. Five oh. plus. Plus three is eight. Three is four. Five. That's right. it, total. Okay. Eight, Two, four, five. Stab, stab, Seven, pull back, seven. stab. It's doubling over, it looks like it's barely holding on. You can see heavy strings of saliva and blood kind of dripping from its mouth onto the, the bottom of the cave floor. Anybody else got anything? I'm out. I, I, with my last remaining time, I'll say, uh, 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 Oh no no! She's not set up to do her parry, so forget it. No, I'm not going to say anything. No, no. I'm just going to stay and get okay. ready. Okay. So okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait though. Wait, wait. It's wait. looking bad. It's looking, it's looking bad. Real bad. Uh, I'm going to use my last two stamina that I was saving in case it hit me to do another attack. Okay. Ooh. Hoping that this bitch is going to go down. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Is that another one. It's a two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but at plus. Oh, uh, five. <laughs> So That's yeah, okay, okay. Too excited, you 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 managed yeah. to avoid hitting it. Is that it? I, I know yeah. you like the prophet, just but just uh -oh. focus on uh, what you're uh, Asking just like over here talking cash email. shit about the prophetess. <laughs> um, I would like to <laughs> grab my club. Which okay. You can use my power swing. Oh, Go you for it. Power swing. I do, hater. Bigger weapons. Yeah. <laughs> so, can I, wait, can I look right? Can I look right at Marcus and be like? Listen, whether you have two souls, four souls, I don't know how many souls you have. If this work, you gotta, I mean, you gotta do it. <laughs> if this work, you gotta do it. Okay, so that is an 18. That hits. <laughs> Look, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> but it's pretty, it's pretty much like, yeah, you did. So that's <laughs> pretty much like, yeah, you did. 26, so that's three, so six points, plus two, so that's eight points damage. Eight points of damage. How do you want to oh! do this? Oh! So, 
at, literally, as he's over here, like, talking about why the profit this ain't about shit. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's what I heard. Doesn't matter what you say it. So she's gonna, like, come up and just start, like, running and go, ah! I'll, I'll put my shield out and, to like, give you something up. to jump off of. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. So she bounces off of the shield and goes, ah! And she comes down like straight across his dome, but it's like a full long connection, and you just see like as the club hits his face, you go. Oh, slow motion. There's a heavy snapping sound as the skull is thrown to the side, the neck itself breaking upon impact as it limply hits the ground and it's no longer. On its dome, she looks (laughs) to insult Marcus. What? And she just goes, yeah! Oh, oh, oh my god. I'll throw up <laughs> some bone pieces to make it look like. <laughs> the blood oh, spatter good. perfectly spell out, I have not come to bring peace, but to bring the club. <laughs> Can you believe that? How? What, no, are the, what are the odds of that, Marcus Twinsoul? <laughs> what are the odds of you that? You find me in the club. As the, spill a bub. <laughs> as the heavy taunting echoes through the cavern, Look, I can, I can go. I can just not be part of the group. Like, it's fine. We're going to take a break. <laughs> so we'll, we'll come back and do the, the looting rewards from that, that mini boss encounter here when we return. But we're going to go ahead and take a break here, and we'll see you uh, shortly. Oh, <laughs>
Hey, Critters, it's me, Marisha Ray. I had exactly a minute and a half of free time today, so I thought I'd make a little unboxing video for y'all, unpacking everything you get with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role. Ooh. Okay. Safety third. What the fuck was that? Oh. So the first thing we've got here is our live and professionally moderated chat. Uh, Twitch is the only place that you can actually get this. You know, it's a little strange to hold because it's an amorphous concept, but um, honestly, you can't deny this craftsmanship. It's really well made and, oh, oh, you can post links in this too. That's really cool. So yeah, put that in your chat and click it. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is the ability to watch all of Critical Role's VODs immediately after the live broadcast ends and before they're uploaded to YouTube. Oh, it smells like ranch? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's that's me. <laughs> I had ranch on my salad earlier. Yeah, this smells like nothing. Oh, oh. Here we have... <laughs> Gift subscriptions, which you can... Uh, Either give to a fellow critter by name or at random using a fancy Twitch algorithm. You can give away a lot of subs with this, which um, I guess it's why it's so heavy for something that's technically non-tangible with a value that's deeply subjective to the consumer. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you all this part. With the Twitch subscription to Critical Role, you can use all of our incredible custom emotes in chat. We have so many emotes in here. Let's see, we have... Uh, Oh, Art Dad, super cool. Yeah, we got Ashley Hype, fun one. Oh, look at Trinket here, he's so like, oh, oh God, oh God. Uh, 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 Broom, Broom, hang on, I can fix this. I can fix this, I'm fixing it, Jerry! Oh God, okay, I'm sorry Trinket. Yeah, that'll work. I need more glue, this is not gonna be enough. Don't tell Rachel, okay? Okay, please, nobody. Ah, uh, Shakira, will you cut this, this, all this out? And welcome back. So, as we left off, our troop of heroes, sorry, um, having just finished their combat in the center of these subterranean caves, heading up towards Storm Hill and encountering these demi humans as well as the chiefs of their odd central cavern, I don't know, play space, I guess you could call it. Um, <laughs> Uh, Price. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a very different brand. Um, but in in this space, you gather and kind of looking through the materials that are left behind. One, you all gain fifty four runes. Ooh. Ooh. Wow! The That's mini so many level. runes. As well as finding two fire pots. Ooh. For anybody who wishes to use them, you can pass them amongst yourselves there. Rooms, three One smithing use. stones. Oh, we hey, got more, more than three stones. now. Ooh. Ooh. And amongst go? amongst the collections that you find, there is a, a somewhat uh, these are good. These are good. a shiny looking bell that you kind of clear off a little bit, um, and what looks to be 
like a, a small orb that contains a bit of ash within it. This is specifically an orb ash. Lone wolf ashes. What? Blood wolf? I'm going to give Blood this wolves? to the the one that. Oh damn it! The one that also has wolf. I have a wolf in my title. Oh, and I get this. Oh, what is this? You can use your focus points, or anybody who is holding the bell at least. And your summoning bell to summon the spirits of three wolves to fight for you. Wow. Stop it. Wow. wow. I knew my name meant something. <laughs> you now have three cats. Oh, well, they're, not, they're sort of canine, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're right, Prophet, about everything. In a way, aren't all wolves just cats with longer legs? <laughs> I mean, I think the biggest moral of it is, do they dance? Because cats don't dance. I did not know that. Mm. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Summon the wolves! <laughs> so. Continuing further up the path, you step into a small kind of sub-chamber where a familiar golden glow draws your attention. And there you see, sparkling, curling in that space, what appears to be a site of lost grace. Oh boy, oh boy. And taking a moment to rest there, you are, one, able to restore your health and focus hey. points. Your flasks return to you, refilled. And while you are here, you are able to spend your runes to upgrade any of your attributes on oh the list if you'd like. Man, oh, oh man. So many upgrades that we could do. Exactly. It's physical and magical defense. Oh man, we should have plotted this out yeah, during I know, the break. Yeah, I know, before the break. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I'm just going to grab stuff randomly, I guess. Okay. Sure. Um, okay. Like a true we, Souls player. Are we allowed to double up on the same perk if we have? Yeah, if you have enough for it. Sick. Mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So if I do 40 there, then I'll have 45 left. So do that I for that 25, can... and I'll have 20 left. I can put it on a on a gift card. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those memes where they're like, you can build your perfect team. You can spend five to get Steph Curry. You can spend six to get Somebody else that plays basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Bird? I don't. I don't. I'm not Scotty not Pippen. Sure. There you go. Scotty, we'll go with that it. one. Okay. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> are we calling? Are we calling this out? Or are we just doing it? I. I do. Yeah. We. I'll, I'll. I'll talk through. Yeah. We can talk through this a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Uh, Nothing's better than stamina, right? Nothing's better than being able to do more stuff. Yeah, and stamina is the fundamental engine of the game, right? So that's why it's the most expensive. But I would say that it's pretty that that it's it's hard to beat that. The only thing uh, uh, getting more focus points is really good if you're if you feel like you're constantly running out of focus points. Um, I think all of the incremental bonuses are like. The, the the swing on a d20 is pretty wide. Yeah. So if you're only getting a plus one on a d20 roll, it's only a five percent. You know, it's like yeah. it's it's not the it's you not the biggest chance. It's very yeah. incremental. Like how many rolls are we gonna have for the rest of the one shot? Right. Like mm -hmm. you could you could roll. We're playing these characters forever, Brendan. <laughs> I'm invested. No now. I'm invested. We must get to the three. Um. Uh, <laughs> So I think the, incre the incremental stuff I don't think is that persuasive. I think the bonuses to, to focus yeah. points is really good. For me, that plus one die to all spell damage because it's area of effect. Yeah. Like totally. if there's if there's eight enemies, that's forty extra damage. Right. Yeah. Right? You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. Or if or, there's a thousand enemies, that's like five thousand extra hit points. Yeah, the math you checks out. Have us fight a thousand enemies. Uh, I'm waiting for the branding <laughs> deal with <laughs> any of the. Uh, Oh, what are they? What are those oh, games called? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, the the ones that you see on mobile games. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're like, I've done a voices million. for it. Wait, why can't no, we yeah, think yeah, of this right now? All the the like that don't big, have the ad in front of you. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're talking about like the um. um oh my god! Like, <laughs> like, like the big the, of, yeah, like, no. yes, the big like um. 
It's They've got names. Go to Facebook. Yeah. Oh my god. Why would I go to Facebook? Somebody just because it's a Facebook game. It's like a PlayStation game. I know, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. talking about. It's it's a, a bit character. Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Warriors. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Chinese you. folklore, yes. Oh. So Thank Dynasty Warriors, you. go ahead. And <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll have thousands of people for them to kill. It'll we'll be great. An ad for one of those things, but it wasn't that exact one. Gotcha, no worries, but you got it. All right. So the game we're playing. So the game we're playing. <laughs> Not Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> um, definitely Elden Ring. I uh, am I, a little interested in the 35 runes that increase uh, physical and magic defense by one dice value because I feel like if I fail my parry, I get a little bit of extra. Oh, I juicy see. So it would go there. from like a d6 to a d8 or a d8 to a d10. Baron, is that what it would be? So, yeah, for your for your armor. So my armor would be from a d6 to a d8 instead. Correct. Okay. So mathematically. Okay. Unless you're moving from a D12 uh, to a D20, all of the dice increments are by two, which on an average roll only increases it by one. So you're only preventing one, one point of damage. damage. Look at this dork That's over what here. I was <laughs> I know, this is wow. amazing. I know, sorry I for know, being brilliant. Maxer. I'm just gonna <laughs> grab one stamina, one dodge, and one weapon attack bonus. Boom, there done. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Um, I would I like can, an extra stamina, I think. I think extra stamina is so hard to argue against. Here's what. Here's the thing. I could either grab another two stamina, or I could do plus ten focus points and plus one die to all spell damage. Those are both pretty viable. Points. Basically, do oh, I want to be way less focus points? Yeah, I only have sixteen focus points. Yeah. So I could either become way more of a wizard or be way more of a gish, like I mean, doing a lot more like attacking look, and spell casting. I, I get it. I can. You can take my job. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me complicate things even more. Uh, I got five extra runes. Here, take them. <gasps> wow. Technically, runes are per player. Give me those back. <laughs> <laughs> Just from a balance standpoint. Very, very kind for you to consider to give runes. <laughs> I'll for sure also do the plus one stamina. So I got stamina. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do one stamina and one die to all spell damage rolls. Okay, go for it. Oh, wait, maybe I'll take that back. <laughs> this be the next hour, by the way, guys. Just so you enjoy <laughs> I, the amount of time I spend in character creation or in leveling up in a Souls game is. So my shield or weapon block doesn't yes. add to my perfect block. It does not. Those remain, those values those remain the same. Those remain oh, the same. This. I feel like I should increase my physical and magical defense. Watch us level up with a game system you don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not the only one. Yet, also. this is also a very accurate representation of playing Elden Ring in some <laughs> yeah, ways, wait, too. Just, everyone watching at home, just with your mouth, just make little noises of like, bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah. Like we're navigating <laughs> a little, <laughs> like. Um, exactly. I'm getting rid of my dodge bonus and I'm moving it towards FP, that's focus points. That is Kyle. correct. <laughs> Honestly, How focus about the power to learn skills? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Get before another. we all are. <laughs> Pencils down. Give me plus five focus. It's that's so funny because stamina is so good, but I don't think I need more stamina. Like because I'm always casting a spell every turn, it's like I always have a couple extra stamina yeah, left over, left you. over for dodging and blocking and shit. Yeah, so man. I actually don't think it's optimal. Shit, doing this live on camera is, is hard. We'll cut this all this out later. This could take days. Um, <laughs> oh no! Character right. creation. I'm gonna sink full spellcaster. I'm gonna do fifty into getting ten more focus points, and then uh, plus one die to all spell damage. Great. Rest on again. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, I've got twenty. Shit. Twenty runes left. I'm gonna give me a plus one. My my. Um, yeah, my scimitar attack. Do it. Sh sure. Sure. I will forge ahead down the path while they are discussing <laughs> this. Great idea. I'm searching good. for my cat. All right. I am luck and gold. Moving forward, you begin to hear, not the gentle whistling of the beachside winds that were hitting the cliffs, but a stronger, heavier sound. Mm -hmm. Find it over here. 
There it is. Don't you hear anything. But you will shortly. This loud, heavy push. As intense winds begin to blow in the space beyond. As you begin to step out from within the cavern to the upper portions of the hill above the cliffs, you enter Stormhill, where the stars begin to vanish through heavy clouds above, and the strong wind is sending heavy dust your direction. So do we want, do we use smithing stone shards here as well? You can if you'd like to, yeah. What does those do? Scar three smithing stone shards to increase a single weapon's attack bonus at weapon's damage or a shield's block by plus one per minute. Just a single weapon. Yep. So someone would have to do it. Um, I think I think throwing this on Karajan's mm-hmm. shield, that would be my pitch. Because, do it. Yeah. Done. No arguments here. <laughs> so plus two to my buckler now, right? Uh, yeah, your buckler is a plus, yeah, plus one permanently. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sounds Let's good. do it. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. Missing. <laughs> I don't know why I took them. Well, then, it <laughs> I made and then we it got these it. fire pots. Who wants a fire pot? I want a fire pot. You throw, yeah, you take a fire, fire pot. Because you yeah. used yours already, right? You can, yeah. Well, I know they come, I get them. The items are one use only. Oh, well, get away from me. Oh, Prophetess, <laughs> please take take all the fire pots. Take my fire pots as well. Oh, I don't want to take you your fire pots. I make fire pots with my situation. body. I am I the fire but... pot. You don't have range? Take this one. <laughs> 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 it's horrible. Oh, that was the worst. Hey, this will definitely yeah, work. Damn it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> take it. Oh, take it. Thank you so much. The, make it take it. The sand and dust being kicked up by the wind stings your eyes, and you are forced to kind of take what elements of cloth you have to wrap around your face to breathe easy. As you begin to trudge out into these fields, you can see the tall grass itself being pushed at a heavy angle and then shifting dramatically as the winds themselves seem to whip in odd directions at any given point in time. Uh, your vision is a little obscured, but you can see there are roads ahead, bits of old old carved pathways that have kind of given way through uh, history and this heavy issue of <laughs> blasting winds. Um, you can see what looks to be some sort of a, a structure a little bit ahead into the east, and you can just barely make out the shadowed shape of Stormville Castle ahead. Forward, yeah, of course. Do we see any patrol? Any anyone in the skies? All right. Twelve. Twelve. You don't see any patrols. Yeah. I'd say the best you can see is that small structure to the east. There's a slight glow coming from its direction. A slight glow. Correct. Should we investigate? I mean, I. Prefer not to have something sneak up on us if we decide to walk past it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll try to look at the landscape again, just to try to see if there's another optimal path of approach. Certainly. Uh, that is a 19 survival. 19 survival, okay. Inspecting this space here with what limited visibility you have of the details of the environment, it's pretty tough to really take in the topography beyond a certain point. It just becomes shapes in the dust. Um, but from best that you can ascertain, uh, most of the land continues to rise in a somewhat upward uh, incline towards the precipice of this hill where the castle itself is built upon. Um, you gather as most strongholds like this have walls around, there might be multiple means of ingress to the castle, depending on the paths you take to approach it. Hmm. What did you see? There are multiple ways for us to go in through here. Land is uh, dust, everything is confusing. Possible we don't see enemy until too late, possible enemy don't see us until too late. Little bit of chaos, I'm afraid, but there are many ways to enter castle. Perhaps best just to be as quick as we can. Quick or stealthy? If only there was a way to sort of know what will lie ahead. Headache, you need water? No, I do believe that we should approach with caution and be as stealthy as possible. Do you know my lucky number, Silves? 
It's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Such a prodigy. All, All right. right. Let's be sneaky. Okay. All right, so you are heading towards where? We're right. Go. Do we want to investigate that light in that thing? Yeah. Okay. So. Everyone yeah. roll stealth, please. Ooh. Natural 20. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's fine. 13. What you got over there, 13. twin souls, Marcus? Oh, I'm not natural, uh, natural 19 with Ooh. a plus three. Ooh. Ooh. fancy. In full plate armor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 14 for me. Great. 12. Okay, all around, you feel pretty confident in your ability. The wind itself being loud enough is helping keep you relatively unheard upon approach, and the low light and low visibility is aiding your progression as well. As you get ever closer to the structure, it begins to come into view, and you notice that it is a dilapidated farm building, partially collapsed, and there is kind of a porch area where it seems a low fire has been lit, a campfire-esque-like setup. Expecting to turn the corner and possibly run into a number of soldiers, you glance through the tall grass, and instead you see a single woman in like a dark burgundy red cloak who's kind of wrapped up and pushed off to the side just out of sight. And you can see kind of a nervous glance in her eyes as she just kind of ensures that nobody is sneaking up on her and failing miserably. Mm. 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 Is this our girl? Mm. This is this is not her, no. Oh. This is another individual. Marisha doesn't trust it, but um, Kara Jin's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lady. Yeah. That's bait. Right. Lady. Oh, you're just standing out here by yourself? I predict that's a bolt. The prophetess is wise. Yeah, what's it? Oh, oh, you just have a nice little seaside cottage where the tar octopus and the giant bats all hang out. It's affordable real estate. Mm. I guess so probably very, yeah, probably very good to, yeah. But we must find out to be sure. But Should we surround her and approach her Considering all the her? attacks we've had, does it make any sense that someone would be standing just in the middle of a field? What do you think, Marcus? I literally no I, idea how this works. <laughs> I think it makes it difficult when you sarcastically prophesize things, when you're also really prophesizing things, it gets confusing. Um, no, I think that we should prepare, set a sort of an ambush, and then maybe one of us go talk to her and see what happens. Should we oh, draw her out, like, cry for help, perhaps? No, I mean, like, I, I'll happily walk out there and talk to her if you all kind of surround her and wait to see what happens, okay. and we can kind of Jump. That's very Do you have good. any more of those pebbles you can just throw uh, yeah, on I can, face? Yeah, I can just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm really good with pebbles, guys. Do you have a How word that you can shout out? No, not good with people. Um, so this is, okay. It's gonna be great. Do you have a signal or something that you will <laughs> yeah. to call us in for help? Uh, <clears throat> now. Now. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm gonna it. go crawl up on the house, and you say now, I blow up. Sure. Okay, good. You're okay. Gonna, uh, you're gonna crawl in the house, okay. I'll, uh, Stay in the grass. That feels like the okay. safe option. So you, you, yeah. you both stay in the grass. You clamber up the dilapidated farmhouse-like building. Unless you would like to go talk to her. What if we went together? Sure. And just approached it as, hello, fellow traveler, if you will. That was my plan. Uh, if you'd like to carry it out by no, please, yourself, please, please come. No, 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 let's go. I'm just saying, I, 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 I just have a good this bedside manner as shown by past situations, but. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I feel like I'll walk okay. into the clearing. Okay. Yeah. So as you step out from the grass, and I assume in a very outwardly way present yourself to this figure. Um, hello. You hear shifting, and there's a quick glance, and she pulls back, almost hiding. No, no, it's okay. We're not here to hurt you. Just saw you, and you seem a little. She glances out, kind of assures you to come oh. over for a second. Okay. I'll head, start heading forward. Okay. You approach, and you see now closer. This is kind of uh, darker hair. You see that the cloak itself is hiding what looks to be a recent wound in the side. 
and she has gathered some a small bit of materials and has managed to bandage herself up a bit as you approach. Terribly sorry, I wasn't expecting to meet anybody out here. Why have you come? Um, well? Well, we were just out for an evening stroll and we saw you and you seemed a bit lost or out of sorts and we just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Is there any way that we can assist you? A stroll, you should go back. This is dangerous land. Then why are you out here? I'm making my way back. I, I came here with companion motherfuckers. Nothing. We said nothing. Nope. <laughs> we made eyes at each other. <laughs> I had traveled here with companions to take Stormville Castle, but I'm afraid I'm I'm a coward myself. It proved too strong, and I abandoned them. I haven't seen them since. And there are so many bodies in his lands. Missing arms, legs, heads, all taken, all added to the ruler of the castle. It's a nightmare, I can't stay. I'm just here long enough to recover my breath, and I'll be on my way, and you should too. You said the uh, person in the castle is taking arms and legs, like, uh, take, like, taken, taken. I've seen many bodies. The soldiers cutting folks down and leaving most of them behind. It's terrifying. Hmm. She's so gathering her materials into her pack. It's not safe, it's not safe. <coughs> you should run. And she heads off back into the grass, stealth slow, and bumps into the two of you. Oh, hi. Ha! 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 Now? No! No, 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 she's fine. Let her go. <laughs> and then she runs off, frightened into the night back from where you came. If you see a cat, send send her back here. <laughs> I uh just come a, out? just a someone who um was on their way to the castle with another group and uh competitors. Yes if yes. I'm gonna kick the fire apart. Okay, good good call. Go ahead and keep the fire apart. The embers kind of separate a bit. And just about that time, you notice a little further up the field what looks like the shape of somebody on horseback. A dark, shrouded figure. The horse would look comparably massive, as at this distance, both rider and beast seem larger than they should be. And black, all dressed in black. Stop and glance over in the direction of where the flames were. You can all make a stealth check for me, please. Oh boy. 19. Oh, natural 19 as well nice. for 24 uh, total. Four, all right. Six. Mm. Okay. No, 23. 12. 23. 12. 21. Okay. Well, the prophetess has a brief stumble. The rest of the troop manages to catch her before she steps into a series of partially broken crates and making a loud ruckus, and quietly you all get low, and you watch as the rider. Turns and hears something in the distance. And heads off westward, off of your path, and off of where you currently sit. All right. That was ominous. Mm -hmm. They didn't, that didn't feel like our competitors. I felt like something else. They were very big. Yes. I mean, perspective is iffy at that right, distance, but, but. perspective, you, right, you don't. But they mm -hmm. seem. Right, I thought it was regular, but closer. But no, it's bigger right, and farther bigger, away. Right, yeah. Right. Like, yeah. You never know how big, like, Clifford is. Sure. They're just closer to the screen. Oh, yes, for sure. You need to be like, okay, we're going to put a tree partially in front, right, so now it. you go, oh, he's behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs> he's behind the tree, then that means it's a big dog. A big, big red dog, yeah. It helps if people hold a banana for like a size reference. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
if the horseback rider was holding a banana, we would know instantly. <laughs> but probably if you hold banana, I'm more like, hey guys, what's up with you? Why are you out here at night? You seem like you're enjoying a nice Just snack. Just getting my potassium. <laughs> Less threatening to hold a banana, for sure. Instant friendship. Hey, this guy like banana, he cool. Are, wait, people who eat bananas are generally jolly and happy I feel like it's happy v- folk? very difficult to be threatening when you're holding a banana. Sure. Right, you, you can always be. bring a banana to a party. Yeah. Uh. No one ever like, so you think you can defeat me? <laughs> I am the dark rider of the castle realm. You and your friend? <laughs> you all blah, blah, blah. Now that you're saying it though, that's a pretty cool little character yeah, detail like, that you like, can do. I think it's like there's no middle ground. It's either you're absolutely not threatening or you're very threatening with a banana. There's yeah. something like <laughs> Right, if you can lean into it. Yeah, like you know? you're peeling it and then you put a little chocolate sauce oh. on top and you're still like a murderer. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It depends on context, right? If it was like a Willem Dafoe type and he had like earbuds in and he's like dancing and eating a banana, then you're like, okay, we got to uncanny. Valley. Right. Now he's scary again. <laughs> right. On we <Sure>. forge. <laughs> <laughs> Into the night. Okay. Hang on, real quick though. We on, on we forge, but I quickly ransack the farmhouse. Oh sure, sure, sure. Okay. Roll and an then investigation we move check for me, please. Can I give the help action here? Or I'll, I'll say you can both roll investigation help checks me. if you'd like by helping. Since it's, there's no Tokyo help action in this room. <laughs> it's a hot six. <laughs> Fifteen. He helped. She helped. Sorry, yes, Bree. It's all good. Uh, okay. <laughs> you do find amongst the uh, chaos there. What items do you have back there? A cluster of five throwing knives. Ooh. And a singular arrow with a sleep enchantment <gasps> on it. Oh my god. I will definitely take the arrow because I've got a bow. Do literally no good. Huh? Does anyone want throwing knives? Yeah. yeah. I love knives. Worked that that time. worked. <laughs> this is how you can tell that I don't play enough video games. That I was literally like, all right, let's leave this farm. <laughs> <laughs> There's not stuff in houses, nope. is there? No. Nope. Break all the crates. Break? break all the pots. So you're just constantly rolling. Yeah. I just through. assume that's what you guys do. You're just rolling into all the yes, crates roll, and barrels and, and, and destroying them all. Standing on a sad quest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I get all right. Dark Phantom Kirk's armor and just roll around. <laughs> exactly. It's what you do. Um, so, it, trudging forward, uh, are you heading across the fields? Are you stealthing across them? Are you riding horses quickly? What are you feeling about traversing these? Which direction did the, uh, the rider? dark figure in? It went westward. The castle is more of a north direction from where you currently are. It's still an open field of tall grass getting there, with like small ruined arches here and there, and you know shifting hills, kind of moving upward. But it's a fairly open space. Take the horses. I mean, maybe we haul ass. Yeah, yeah. just as a time just, that we even go. if someone sees us, if we can just, just blow right past them, then it won't matter. Yeah, I will summon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you all summon forth your spectral steeds and jump atop their runic selves. I, it, they're they're magical and pretty. Um, Did you hear that? Riding strongly so towards the cavern. <laughs> Farewell. Towards the Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Clutching the sides of the mains and moving forward, it's still difficult to see in this low light through this storm. And you carry on for two, three, four minutes, glancing around nervously in case you're being pursued or something takes notice. Uh, what is the general like order? Who's spearheading this? Hmm. Mm-hmm. If the <laughs> sure, I'll be in the front. <laughs> All right. I'll Neil. be. Uh, okay. I can be in the front as well. I've got pretty heavy armor. I'll try to go to to one side of the prophetess to try to keep her. I'll yeah. go to the other side then. We'll we'll there make a little a little flying V around the prophetess. You got it. Did you just, did you just gingerly agree with like protecting the prophetess? No, oh, I just said I would go in front. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like <laughs> no. he did. No, it makes sense to have you in the middle he of you. Does. He's he's into so. it. what? <laughs> <laughs> Avoiding the main road, you continue pushing through, kind of a little ways adjacent off of it, still visible atop the tall grass, and moving and kind of dodging between the large hills as you press upward and northward. Those of you at the front, in pushing forward 
loudly clumping across the stone and dirt ground. You can't help but see sudden movement in front of you. Your horse instinctually kind of picks up in the air and nearly throws you. I need you both to go ahead and roll acrobatics checks or, yeah, go ahead and acrobatics checks. We're gonna handle if you want to. That's a five. Oh, that is also a five. You both get thrown from your horses <laughs> onto the ground. The rest of you slow down just a bit as you see from the ground. <laughs> these massive stone-like pillars covered in runes that now begin to blaze with burning orange coming to life around them. 20, 30 feet of segmented stone and metal begins to shift and burn. You see almost like a massive knee and leg rise up as another one steps into place. You see what is almost like a a breastplate of intricately carved runes that have been largely tarnished and broken away, with weathered with history and the elements, rises up in the center of it with a burning center, just this burning flame like an engine in the middle, and a helmet with an angry center slot where the flames itself burn through. It stands up almost 40 feet in full height above you, hunched down, looking at you. Hello. (laughs) My name is Calvis. I don't have any arms. Sorry. How do you do? <laughs> Calvis, yeah. you don't have to apologize for not having arms. That's not, that's what break my heart. Did, you feel like you must have help you. I'm so sorry to wake you from your slumber. It's all right. These are dangerous places, you understand. I've just been resting ever since this. Looks down and there's like this, Odd hilt of some wicked looking blade that's like half jammed into the chest plate of its armor. So I've just been sleeping. Maybe may, may, may we ask a question? Yeah, uh, I suppose. We've heard that um, the resident of the, the castle up here steals people's arms. Is that who took yours? No. Oh. I think I lost them in a bit. Or you say you lost them in a bet? <laughs> yeah, long time ago. Like, uh, like you play cards, and someone's like, "This hand, I'm gonna raise you like forty runes," and you're like, "I'm short," and they say, "Maybe bet your arms." <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, it probably wasn't very good. No, that came across judgmental. I am so sorry. That's very rude. No, it's okay. Is it rock paper scissors? See, now it's just getting personal to remember <laughs> it, but yeah. No. <laughs> wow. D- this, this in your chest, um, does it hurt you? No, it just sort of tickles a little bit. Um, would you like us to remove it for you? I mean, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, how you? You're so big. Um. Like, kneels down very close to the ground. You could feel the heat emanating from it, even just in proximity. No, when these guys say these lands are dangerous, it's first time I'm like, maybe we should not be around here, because this guy, 40 feet tall and made of rocks, and he's like, I don't like it here. <laughs> yeah, I, absolutely. Um, how big is the thing sticking out of his chest? The sword sticking out of his chest? The hilt? Yeah, it's it's like a, a long, it's like a slender size, hilt. Though. Yeah. Okay, not like forty foot. No, it, like, it, on his body it looks almost like someone just jammed like a like a toothpick yeah. into him. Okay. Um, I'll reach for it and grab onto the hilt. Okay. Uh, you take, a take bunch of damage. Oh, no. uh, twelve points of magic damage. Okay. In yeah, the form of magical power. fire, so you right. get to reduce that from your armor by one. There you go. Uh, and I need you to make a strength check for me, please. Okay. Hmm. Just, just strength? Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, there it is. Mm, terrible. Um, seven. Seven. It is not budging. Maybe I'm not the one to do this. Hey, I appreciate you trying, though. It's you're, very, very nice. You're welcome. It hurts when you're done. Ow. Would you like me to take a, a yeah, try? You seem, a, yeah, I mean, you seem very fairly, strong. I, I work out. <laughs> this may hurt a bit, but I will pull with all my might. Ooh, not good. I'm, oh, wow, that's real bad. <laughs> Oh, yes, like a four. <laughs> oh, no. Plus, I mean, plus what? Strength? Plus your strength modifier. So nine. It does not budge, but you do take oh, eight points shit. of magic fire damage. Oh, yeah. Look, it's, I don't hold it against you. Even just your offering to help means a lot to me. You're a very sweet, Perfect. sweet person. Have you seen if any of us are meant to be the one to remove this? Do you mind if I try? I apologize for the rock, paper, scissors, jest. I accept your apology. Can I give the help action here? Or I'll say you can both roll together, and Ooh, uh, good, I'll give, it, in doing it together is one. We'll both take damage, but I'll add a, a circumstantial plus four to whatever the higher roll is. Okay. Will we be able to leave town today? Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. And that's a natural one, which yeah. is sad. But does my natural 20 do anything? <laughs> oh, I love this fucking game! <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. So, you're not usually the one that has to do too much of the labor, because you have your companion here. And you barely get your hands on it and just let them do the work, but together. Can't help but be drawn in by the excitement that they have in helping you here, and the blade <laughs> comes free. You both do take seven points of magical fire damage, which you can reduce by your magical armor, magical defense. But you do pull forth from it <laughs> with a flash of almost like a, a electrical sheen across it. In a brief instant, you pull this arced. Katana like weapon from the center of its chest. Ooh. Wow. Dragon scale blade. Only equipable and usable by someone with a strength of 11 plus, dexterity of 9 plus, and faith of 11 plus. Do you, do you satisfy these? I can't, because I only have a dexterity of eight. Uh, I have a, what was the first one? Strength 11. I have a strength of 12, dexterity, dexterity of nine. nine, and faith of 16. This was meant for you. This is your blade. There's something about it that just, just makes me feel immortal, like, like I have inside me the blood of kings. Hey. I'm just going to say thank you. That was tickling for some time. Oh. So, appreciate it. Sorry you were uncomfortable. <coughs> I'm used to it. Yeah. Will you be my friend? Yeah. I think I can. Okay, I like you. You too. Hey, if you're going that way, and he kind of like <laughs> gestures over towards the castle with heavy grinding sounds, I'd say maybe avoid the front gates. There's a big troll there, and they're pretty nasty. Good to know, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to go nap now. Good night. Thank you. It's nice Good to meet night, you. It's very nice to meet you. You too. Hey. If you see someone with my arms, tell me. <laughs> and just like walks about a hundred or so feet away before just collapsing back onto the ground and oh, going inert. Wow. That was okay. the strangest experience of my. <laughs> Very short 
memorable life. Yeah, you know, because it is very strange, because like confidence is really hard, and people yes. have this sort of way of apologizing for things that are not even really their fault, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And he's also a big rock man. He's, and also he's a big rock man. There's not a voice I expected to come out of him. No? No. Just to be clear, we are fighting because we love the lands between so much that we want to rescue it, right? I mean, we love this place. We're, we're trying to make this place well, a... It seems very esoteric and vague okay. and veiled in a very long-term secrecy that maybe we will uncover. Or maybe the reason we're doing this is simply for ourselves mm. and what we'll find along the way, including our friendship. Beautiful. And definitely the prophetess. Yeah, that's Ultimately, my number one. Is really the prophetess. Say, yeah. Like friendship it's is fine, but really also the prophetess. Back to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we need to find a separate, uh, a new entrance, right? The, 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 this, this. Yeah, the creatures. castle have multiple entrances. Yes. But we don't know of any others, correct? Mm. Not, not specifically, but we do know they exist. So we avoid front gate and maybe search around for other way in. All right. All right. Mm. So. How do we do that? Glancing over, you can see there is the large perimeter wall around it, and there are clusters of trees and elements of rock that are kind of, that the wall itself is built upon or around in places. Um, you, can, you can't really quite make out the front gates, but the shape of it, you can go either to one side or the other to try and inspect if you'd like. Are we closer to one side or the other, or are we pretty much dead? Where you are right now, you're a little closer to probably the the right or the eastward side. Yes, which is, leads us away from that man. So yeah, let's check the eastern side out. It's closest. Yeah, let's do it. All right. God, what if we had snuck instead of riding horses? We never would have met Calvis. No, that's fair. No. Wow. We would have never been warned about the troll either. No, we would have never got that sword. <laughs> Everything happened for a reason. This is, you know, mm -hmm. this is what I'm talking about all the time. You good? <laughs> Everything that we do has a consequence or Joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the best. <laughs> All right. So, are we taking horses? Are we stealthing but forward? Still. This yeah, let's how, 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 well, oh, okay. oh, yeah, well, how far, how far away? away? Uh, you're a few hundred feet from. Oh, the oh yeah. yeah. Self <laughs> for sure. All right. Let's go. Everyone, make another stealth check for me, please. Thirteen. Oh. Six. Yikes. Eleven. Okay. Eight. Also eleven. Okay. Uh, twelve. Oh, twelve. Okay. That has one better. Okay. Not wonderful. No. Uh -huh. So as you begin to arc around on the eastern side of the wall, one thing is first. You do notice at the gates the sound. Of heavy footfalls, not terribly unlike those of your new friend Calvis. Oh. And looking over, you can see the shape of a towering troll, about the same height, though broad shoulders, kind of dark, bluish, almost gray skin with thick muscle and sinew. The arms themselves swing almost past the knees as it kind of lumbers around. You can see a, a gargantuan blade that's strung to its back itself, maybe about three, three and a half to four feet wide and about 10 to 12 feet long. And it's just kind of glancing around through the field, keeping eyes peeled. Along the walls, you see a handful of ballista that are affixed to the top, where you can see armored guards are just kind of swinging around and glancing. One of them shh, kind of looks over in the direction of where you're hiding in the middle of the grass and kind of shifts over and looks down. Throw something as a distraction or something? He's uh, throwing knife or? How far away is he? Uh, he's, a, from where you are right now, about a hundred or so feet away. Is that considered long? It's just outside of long. You're going to have to go a little closer to do long, but you can do that. 
He's starting to like glance over at one of the other guards. I have nothing to throw. I have nothing, no, nothing to. I could, I could throw. I could throw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just belly crawl. Okay. Get within long. Okay. Sleep arrow that I just got. <gasps> okay. Sniper shot. Don't waste it. Oh. You see him. <laughs> I got two. You got two. You see him like taking the ballista and pointing it not towards you, but over the way, and you gather quickly that he sees somebody else in your crew that he's aiming this long, jagged-looking ballista ammunition piece, this probably six-foot-long harpoon that would probably kill any of you in an instant mm -hmm. hit. Go ahead and roll for an attack. He doesn't see you, so you technically Don't. have advantage on the strike. Great. Oh, fuck me. I'll keep that one there. Lucky Jade. Barely lucky. 14. 14. 14 is exactly the Whoa. armor class. So, aims over, gets it set. The arrow hits it. Oh. And just slumps over it. Go, 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 go. Okay, you all quickly begin to dart through the tall grass, now that the one person who's posted to keep watch there is currently passed out for the next minute over the ballista. Um, you head around to the side, and you can see there is a rock pillar that is jutting out from the top of the mountain, and it looks like there is a portion of it that has kind of collapsed inward and stairs have been carved into the stone leading upward. It looks like there is a, an unlit beacon tower atop that, uh, but there's about a, a 12 to 15 foot gap between where the stairs begin and the base of where it is. Wait, 12 to feet, like, like, a, like a, we fall? So meaning, to, yeah. meaning stairs curl up and lead up to the top of this and go over mm. the wall, but there the stairs have crumbled a bit and there's about a 10 to 15 foot distance to get mm. to the stairs. I understand. What do I have? Nothing. Um, have you all ever seen those like circus shows where people are on horses and they're standing on their horses and then they like? You want to summon the horses to stand? Al I wonder if we can stack our horses on top of each other if we summon them strategically. Is this not? Is this a spiral staircase or? A, or? A <laughs> we trying to break the physics engine? Uh huh. <laughs> You never heard of a horse stack? <laughs> <laughs> you stack a bunch of horses, make a horse lather. <laughs> but do you go I head to bottom? Or I've, of course, I've heard of such a thing. I've never, just never bottom. seen it in you practice. Did, did, did. One horse standing, the other horse stands on top of the other horse and stands on top of the other horse. And yeah, he said, that's why horse shaped like that. You know, it's like lawn chairs that you put <laughs> on top of, like patio furniture. How do you lift the horse to get on top of it? No, them? you just have to. You have to like be on a horse and summon another horse. And as oh, long as you're alive. The trick is. You on the horse, you summon horse too. You really gotta jump quick <laughs> off of horse because that second horse is coming right down. Yes, that's true. And how do you get on the top of the other well, they, horse? They've all, they all have the, stirrups. That's the trick, can... you gotta be able to jump off something onto that. So what you wanna do is start a second horse stack <laughs> next to the first horse stack. So it's like one horse, two horses, three horses yes, next to Yes, exactly. You make a horse staircase out of a separate horse stack. Well, if we do, <laughs> we do three horses. <laughs> let's, really, let's really break this down, because this for sure gonna happen. Yeah. So let's if really. Had, how tall up, GM? How how high up is it before the stairs break? Is it? Uh, how, yeah, but but measure please in hands. How many hands? How many hands? Is there a sign about how many horses how many the hands? stairs can hold? How many like hands a OSHA up? compliance for maybe unsafe amount of horses. I'm gonna say the stairs are probably not oh. designed with horses in mind. Why? No, no, they won't be on the stairs. <laughs> right. The, the horses will be on the ground. <laughs> we'll say. <laughs> It's about a three horse stack. <laughs> so, so we do three horses and then two horses. It's perfect. Imagine like I just nodded. <laughs> and then, you know, we we can vault ourselves onto the two horse stack. If, if we are short, I'm just throwing this out there. Okay. If we are short, 
Mm. I could stack three wolves on top. <laughs> This is Just for really, this is time. innovation. <laughs> this is the most accurate representation <laughs> of any game like this I've experienced. Is that, is uh, that DM permission to try this? Oh, this is, this is some speedrunner shit. This is, yeah. Do what you guys gotta do, we'll see if it happens. Right. Let's stack these horses. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> who's going first? Um, well, it, 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 look. I'll make Supernova the base of the, okay. the first three horse stack. You sure? What? What do you think? Your nameless horse yeah, is stronger than. Horse's name is Ed. Oh, that's right. You didn't name it Ed. <laughs> four hooves, Ed. That's right. Is yeah, Ed so like got, a Clydesdale? He's got four hooves. It seems pretty stable. All right, I'll summon Supernova on top of Ed. Supernova doesn't seem really keen to like Supernova participate. Supernova was getting a little distracted. Supernova before. does, I think, hate me. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, Ed on bottom. Ed, Ed, All right. So I. Summon Ed. Was that, was that um, I don't know. What it, was. it wasn't anything. Um, Broken Edelweiss. Yeah. Um, so Ed's there now. Yep. Okay. So someone climb on top of Ed and summon your horse. Right. All right. So I get on top of Ed and I kind of stand a little. They're stacked. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we have to climb on top and summon a third horse. horse. That's like nimbleish. And then, then we you... all have to climb three horses after we do this. Okay. Yeah, you put a, you put your your the first of your base stack, and because you, you got to Minecraft it, right? You got to build yes, it a right. little I'm at a sorry, time. We're making a, so a, 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 a right. staircase so we, out of horses. So right. yes. three horses get us close enough to jump. So the trick is there's five of us, right? Uh -huh. yes. So this is like, you know, the farmer have a bolt with the fox, chicken, grain. Yes. So what we have to do is first we make two horse stack and right. one horse next to that. Exactly. Then we have two of us get on two, two horse, horse stack yeah. yes. and then we are on that one, okay? Yes. And then we have to jump back on horse number one. Make, <laughs> no wait, when two are up, oh, then we summon it. that one to make and a two horse stack. Right. You jump to two horse, then Fifth person on ground, make three, three horse. horse stack. They jump up over there, they get onto stairs. Then we get rid of all the horses. <laughs> we start back from the beginning. All right. That is the plan. What, what do we need to roll for this? <laughs> well, let's say the actual stacking process <laughs> is sound. It's the leaping from horse stack to horse stack sure, sure, sure. that is the challenge. So I would like each of you to make an athletics or acrobatics check oh to attempt to leap from the two horse stack to the three horse stack. All right, all right. Acrobatics, here we really go. This is a really important roll. 23, baby. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay it's uh, fine, it's 18. Fine. All right. 15. 15. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh -huh. These are all very good Oh, work. athletics, 20. Okay. 16. <laughs> Everyone above a 15. <laughs> Like, you're made for some things in your life, but you never realized quite how well you were made for jumping from horse stacks. Because you are efficient as fuck of anything you've done in the lands between. Horse stack jumping is the top of the list Look, of proficiency. Everybody, in all seriousness, um, we should start a troop. <laughs> We're, re we're really good at this. Yes. Like, I didn't know this was a skill I had, and now uh, yeah. I have it. Um, yes. Oh, I should do something with it. Yeah, to be clear, like, <laughs> everything about this new land is strange and wonderful. We're stacking horses all day back where I come from. <laughs> this is the least crazy thing that has happened. You think you think we can survive one day where I come from without making some kind of horse stack? <laughs> Out of your mind. <laughs> Number one survival strategy. There's gonna be a day. It's just made me very homesick for my cat. Oh, oh, so she'll oh, climb God. on me at midnight. I can't. I was the horse you, guy. You, you, <laughs> I can't wait for someone to introduce the concept of a ladder to your people. <laughs> just blow their fucking mind. Wait, how would you even? It's, it's like someone trying to explain a horse stack made of pieces of wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with all those rolls, we'll say, without issue, you managed to make your way onto the tower. Uh, you have you have effectively exploited your way <laughs> past right. the castle wall. So, climbing up the stairway of this 
of this tower, you get to the, 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 the precipice of the wall in which there is a parapet walkway and a staircase that kind of switch back, heads down into the interior courtyard of this castle. Glancing over, you can see there are some patrols of guards kind of shifting through. There's two clusters of two that are kind of glancing or, or stepping back and forth, and you can see there are walls to an inner courtyard of Stormville Castle. Can this we... looks to be the, kind of the centerpiece of this stronghold. Mm-hmm. Are we able to time it to where we can each like dart when they're not looking? You can. I need you to roll stealth as you try and okay. get back unseen. Ooh. Sorry, I got a nat 20. I was excited. Ha, ha, ha! You should be excited. Yeah. 15. 15. Nat 20. Nine. Nine? Mm. What's my still? Seven. Okay. Ooh. 18. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. The nat 20 saved y'all. Woo! <laughs> so. The prophetess could tell yes. the pacing <clears throat> of their patrol. Mm-hmm. Keeping low, you begin to weave between the various clusters of armaments and collected ammunition that are set to the side for the ballista. You go past one car, wait for the next patrol to pass, and then dart between the main opening of this courtyard thoroughfare, dodging from bush to small bit of of fern cluster to the side. You all dart off, and you can carefully break contact with the patrol heading around and passing unseen. Across the way, you see what looks to be like a small bridge-like walkway that leads to a large set of double doors that seems to continue into the inner sanctum courtyard and the cathedral tower that lies at the center of the castle grounds. Continuing to push forward. Wait, 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 wait. Are we about to go through the double doors? You're not at the doors yet, no. Oh, okay, no, keep going then. (laughs) Okay. I'm not ready for my pep talk. You begin to quietly make a path towards the front region of this inner wall. It's about that time you hear a heavy sound. And there you see, just off to the right of the two large double-doored gates, there is a curled-up beast a massive lion-like, feral-looking feline beast that even in its curled-up sleeping position, its thickened mane, probably from end to end about 15 feet long, with a, looks like a brace with a large blade affixed to it, part of its protective armor as well as an additional means of tearing into whatever prey it awaits, and is just laying there sleeping. It's not my cat. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. He's the first cat we see, so I maybe. Know. Mine ha- has sort of caramel fur and and uh, no tail. It's honey. It does yeah, look like great. the fur is somewhat caramel in color. And Wait the tail is missing. Wait a second. Things change in this world. Maybe, maybe oh it's no. like a bastardization of your cat. Oh no. How will I? I cannot, I cannot go any further. I, maybe you will remember you. You must go. Go talk to, you just the, say now. One of the eyes opens. I'll step forward. <laughs> the lips curl up and you can see as it lifts its head, its head is probably close to four to five feet from base of skull to end of snout. As the lips curl up, you can see rows and rows of sharpened teeth that stick out at odd, ragged angles. So good. Is that, is that you, my, my sweet? Make a persuasion or animal handling check. So good. Natural one. Oh, <laughs> no way! I've come to take you home, my sweet. And bites your arm off. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 No, babe. there's a water bottle. No, <laughs> she, oh, it just bites her arm. Torches off. begin to f- <laughs> f- a light and oh! the walls of the castle. 
castle from the screaming that is now echoing from the interior. Is there uh, any healing that can come back from that? Are we we're, are we on like a rampart or battlement like approaching? This is this is uh, you're, you're on the, the ground courtyard floor, and there is a, a path that looks yes. almost like a battlement that leads up to these double doors, and gotcha. there is this massive feline-like guardian creature that has just bitten your friend's arm off. Uh, <laughs> I, I truly looked at the prophetess and like, I really at a loss here. <laughs> I take it all back. She's a fraud. She's a quack. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Thank you. <laughs> this was a mistake. We well, when it run. goes wrong, it's my fault. The the gargantuan Not your bad choices. The gargantuan feline like guardian. You can see like spits the arm out of the ground and starts batting it around a little bit. I, I'm gonna look at you. I swore I would save your cat. I'm going to walk up and go. Hey! No! No! You don't do that! You do not bite the arm off of your beloved, uh, you your person. Yeah, and I'm gonna go try to grab the scruff behind the head, right by the base of the skull. Bad kitty, you don't do this! Make an animal handling check. Oh boy, if you lose an arm. God, I hope so. Please, please do. Okay, which of these do I roll? Prophetess. This one here. Green. Just. Now. I add zero to animal handling, which w- would make this a three. <laughs> <laughs> no! You need to go to cat dentist. Your teeth are at the wrong angle. <laughs> You're now missing your right arm at the elbow. <laughs> Why you like this cat so much? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> she wasn't like this before. <laughs> Than this. <laughs> this is horrible. The cat is now like swallows the half of your arm and is now like picking up the, your arm and just kind of like walks off and just kind of curls up in a circle and begins chewing on it while you hear voices shouting off in the distance. You know, <laughs> she's distracted. Maybe we just go through now. Well, she's got a nice neck. How did this happen? Well. <laughs> We, let's not overanalyze it right now. We can do that later. Maybe overanalyze it. I'm trying to analyze it for the first time. Let's I don't know. Let's <laughs> talk about it later. And a large <laughs> ballista strikes the ground about 10 Run. feet from you, sitting go, dirt go, 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 go. doors. Okay. I need everyone to make strength checks. Do we? Uh, with both of you with disadvantage because you're Do you're we missing lose arms. Any hit points? Boy, I yes, don't know yes. how this can feel now. <laughs> Oh, well, that's good. Strength with disadvantage? Correct. Oh, with disadvantage? Natural Maybe. 20 and a 2. Okay. So. Uh, 10. 10, okay. Uh, 12. Uh, okay. Uh, 21. 20. The doors open, and you all rush in and close them behind and put the lock on it. You can hear soldiers arriving, and they're starting to like kind of. Bang on it a bit, and hey, what's the matter? You hear the voices kind of muffled through. One of those like, puts a gun in its mouth. Oh God! <laughs> Don't try to reach out to the cat. <laughs> I uh, just look. Look. Oh God. Uh, no, 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 no. No, go. Can you help them? You do see within this initial space there is a small, glowing golden light that is drifting above the ground, not but five feet from where you stand. As a sight oh, of lost grace oh, 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 Maybe it'll oh, regenerate your shit. Maybe. Maybe. Still bleeding a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I know I'm kind of a freaky freak. I'm really out of it right now. That really <laughs> sort of knock you on your ass. I, I mean, I'm. I don't know what happened. I. You know what? 
I haven't fed her in a few years. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. maybe, you know, cats can hold a grudge sometimes. I so bet maybe. she sat right next to the litter box, too. Not or in it. Beat on my luggage right or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really, yeah, really spiteful, you know? All right. Well, that I sounds will... a lot like your fault. Everything about it. <laughs> I, I agree with the prophetess here. You know? I will go approach the light and just sort of hold up my gushing wound next to it. <laughs> the amount of blood you both have in your bodies is <clears throat> fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's getting a little bruisey. Wait, how uh, yeah, it's fine. You step into the golden light, and as you do, you watch as Whoa. the arm apparates back into place. Wow. Well, that's amazing. Convenient. Yeah, these, yeah, for as much bad as it happening here, Love these sights of Lost Grace. <laughs> so great. Love these. I don't know what it says about us. I feel like that I'll, I'll impact that later. I kind of want to try and go talk to the cat again. Now that I know you this wanna... is here. It is right outside. Maybe we just do, do a quick speed run. There, there are soldiers <laughs> out there as well. That's That's true. True. Maybe yeah. after we, we complete our mission and our, our blood, blood right. I feel very, I was going to say, I feel very sorry. I, my promise to you to help find your cat is technically fulfilled, but <laughs> I mean, we we straight up found that a, cat. A, you know, it's we, a pyrrhic victory. Yeah, it's yeah, sort of like a oh, you got what you asked for, but not really what you needed. What needed. Yeah, yeah, you know. I feel like there's a lesson in this somehow. The lesson is you don't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, oh, you get, get what, what you, you need. need. Oh my. And maybe you can bring your cat back to this check, this check, this lost <laughs> kind of lost grace, and maybe it'll restore your kitty. This yes, this is a good idea. Maybe if we um, defeat whatever this is, and you become a lord, or or definitely she becomes a lord, or really only to her, it maybe become the look. Well. No, I mean, I, didn't, I don't want you to. You could be the lord. Any of us have lord potential, but maybe then you can get your cat back. I don't think it's in the cards for me, honestly. But yeah. but thank you all for trying. It really shows your respect for me and for my ownership of this feline terror. Well, um, if we do fix things and put everything back, the ring back together, mm -hmm. um, Things might go back to the way they were. Maybe your cat will go back to the way it was. True. Sure. I mean, we all super remember dentist, how it maybe. was before. So. Yes. Yeah, all right. Well, let's finish our mission. Right. Yes. Speaking of, um, I look around. Where are we? Yeah. As you now glance at the inner chambers of this interior courtyard, you look down upon this open space that is clusters of gravestones all jutting at odd angles from the exposed dirt and dried brush with leafless trees kind of twisting out of the ground. You see the central tower itself, a massive cathedral spire with all manner of statues shifting out from front of it, reaching up towards the heavenly sky. You see stone pillars themselves rising up like spikes from the ground, 20, 30, 40 feet up, coming to gradual points with religious iconography upon them, sculpted and gilded. There upon one central left-hand pillar, you see curled over it like it had fallen upon and impaled itself atop one of these stone spires. A dragon, curled and long dead, a dark, withered look upon its now desolate form. There you see another figure kind of standing to the base of it, walking up, kind of hulking wide shoulders, wrapped in a dark green cloak or cape of some kind. You see it walk up towards this dragon, about maybe 30, 40 feet from where you are. As it reaches up and kind of caresses the edge of this dragon's face, you hear a voice. Mighty dragon, thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, 
O oh, kindred spirit, deliver me unto greater heights. As the now noticeably hulking man pulls the arm out to grasp the side of this dead dragon's cheek, you can see the gnarled trunk-like arm extending far past where it should. The being stops and slowly turns towards you all, grasping a massive golden battle axe embedded in the ground next to it and throwing off its green cloak to reveal its swollen, malformed body and torso that harbors numerous smaller arms and limbs branching off of it like the boughs of a tree each hand sporting numerous extra fingers and flexing and shifting as it turns. A number of these smaller arms carry smaller weapons as well. And you see the figure, it's long, dirty white hair falling past its shoulders. Well, lowly tarnished, playing as a lure. I command thee, kneel, and slams the axe down on the ground before it. For I am the lord of all that is golden. No. I, uh, I kneel, but I kneel towards the prophetess. Oh. I do the same. I will join her and I hope in a symbol of power and unity, all of us do. My Neil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him. Uh, <laughs> I have my fingers crossed behind Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so petty, so petty. What did you say? I said no, but if you would like me to clarify, uh, I don't know you. Why would I kneel to you? I am Godric, lord of this castle. She pulls the axe free from the dirt. And perhaps there is some use to parts of you still as he lunges towards you. He wants our arms! Yeah. He gets to go first. He gets to go think? first. I lost my ah! arrow. There it is. As it oh boy. darts towards the rest of you who are all kneeling around. Oh no, we're all clumped together in the a priestess, easily defeatable <laughs> part of the place. Oh god! It's going to go ahead and use his whirlwind combo. Uh, so yeah. all of you that are in the space in front of him have. 18 points of physical damage coming your way. I'm going to try and dodge it. Same. Dodge. Okay. I will. Natural 20. Hey! Woo! You avoid the damage. 17. You avoid the damage. 19. You avoid the damage. I will block. You will block. Okay, go ahead and roll that. Natural 20. Wow! Stagger! Which means, which is, Stagger! Which means you. Yes. Wow, yeah, I know you full on stagger him. Yes! <laughs> got out of the gate. 16 for me. 16, yeah. You Did dodge that as well. avoid that? <gasps> you all avoided the opening round of combat for me. You see the kneel, and then it all kind of yeah, work yeah. out. <laughs> oh, because we showed unity. <laughs> uh, yes. As, all right. I does get one more hit off the combo, though. It's one big whirlwind swing, and then a single strike on one of you. And because you're the one in the center, it's going to go for you. Uh, so you take a secondary. Strike for 27 points of physical Ooh. damage. That's huge. That's a lot. Can, can she do anything to attempt to, to, I know she dodged already, can she attempt to block it or do anything else? You can to? dodge again if you have the stamina. I do, well what was that, one, so. Nineteen. That dodge is plus my weight. Plus my dodge. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're right. You're right. Twenty-three. 
<laughs> You're all just rolling around this place. <laughs> <laughs> he yells angrily and then kind of like stumbles back on his back leg after the the perfect block that you had administered before. It's now back to the player's turn. What are you doing? If you all don't mind, while I'm he staggered, I take out my dagger once again, spin it behind my back. What dagger is this? this is the my Reduvia dagger? There you go. <laughs> Backstab. Go for it. You have advantage on the strike. Yes. As you maneuver around to the back portion of the massive Godric. Yeah, I'll Godric oh the Grafted. My God. They're both 16s uh, for 21 total. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. So it's uh, 1d4 plus an additional 66 because of oh. he because of the is staggered. And an additional d12 because he was staggered initially. And, Ooh. okay, so wait. That's an opening round. She's a 66 Four. instead of 6d6. Yeah. I was 66. like, 66? <laughs> <laughs> 1, 2, one shot. 1, 2, 1, 6, plus my d4. Plus, let me go shopping. D twelve. Okay, okay. Get out of here, whatever you are. Here we go. And you. I don't want any of you. It sounds so nice. It sounds so good. Come on. So many dice. All right, all right. Let me do math for a hot second. <laughs> um, that is ten plus eighteen plus twenty. Three, six, nine, plus two, 40 total. 40 Whoa. points of 40 damage. damage in the opening wow. round. As you jam the dagger in his back. And I kind of like ride it down a little bit. I like vault and then just let my weight drag down the back. You drag of the it spine. down, and as you do, two of the wayward arms that are protruding from the middle of his lower back kind of grab at the blade and trying to grab at your hand eventually, like pulling it from his own body in a really gross and disturbing way. But that is a gaping wound you left in his yes. backside. Hell yes. Awesome. So, so I, um, Marcus sees you do that, and he reaches into his little satchel that he has uh, on his back, and he pulls out this, like, this little jar. He looks at him and he goes, you know, I've been saving this for a while, but this seems like the appropriate time to use this. And he s takes a handful of it and spreads it on the blade of his uh, of his spear, putting his fire grease on his spear. So my uh, weapon now does fire damage. Nice. Yeah, just lights up. Flames burning off of the blade of the spear. And he spins his spear, and I'm going to make now that I have extra stamina. I'm going to make three spear attacks. Hell yeah! Wow. Do it. I got stamina. Um. <laughs> And that's that lasts for three turns. That's great. So, three attacks. First one is a uh, an eight, which doesn't hit. Eight does not hit. Next one is carried by one of the smaller weapons. Eighteen plus eight, which I assume that does hits, hit. And yes. a fourteen plus eight. Fourteen plus eight definitely hits. Okay, so those two will hit. So, so got first two hits on one them. is going to do. What have I got? One d six, and then an additional four. One d four fire damage. So that's um, eight points of physical damage and then three fire damage. Got you. And then the next one is six, uh, 10 points of physical damage and four fire damage. You got it. Awesome. Just leaving these flaming burn marks into his body. You tarnish, no, not what you mess with. He's going to go ahead and use one of his counters to go ahead and axe backswing you. No. Uh, four. Uh, I have no stamina. Nope. <laughs> that is going to be 15 points of physical damage right. to you. And I will roll my physical defense. The axe just carves past right into your breastplate and leaves a large gash across it. Uh, you say how much did you say? 15. 15. Okay, minus four. So 11 points of physical damage to you. Alrighty. Who's up next? I, I will consume my exalted flesh. What do I do with this? I have a exalted flesh uh, gets plus three damage until the end do of the I next eat turn. It? What, how do I? Yeah, you eat it. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I reach into my satchel and take out a, a little jerky. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a little, little meat. Holy that's, jerky. That's what I call beef jerky from now on. Exalted flesh. flesh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I eat it, beco becoming more swole than ever, and raise my two-handed bastard sword. Actually, wait, should I power swing? I should power swing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I will power swing against this, uh, this fellow. Go for it. Um, that's cocked. 
That's terrible. Uh, it's an 11. 11 does not hit. No, it doesn't. Oh, you go to strike, and it takes the large axe and just parries it to the side. No impact. All right, I will once again attack. I um, guess I shouldn't do a power swing. I'll just do a two-handed bastard sword attack. Do it. Oh boy, 18 to hit. 18 does hit, you can go roll damage. Okay, damage is a d12, plus five, plus a d6, and then because I did that, it's plus five. Okay, ugh, terrible. Um, nine, 10, 11, 16 points of damage total. Terrible for 16 points is pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, so with the second one, manages to swing around using the same momentum of the first parried strike and just carve across into its body. Pretty decent hit. Decent. All right. Anybody else? Should you want me to up at bed first, or you want to go? You go ahead. All right. Save the best for last. Yeah! Uh, and I'm going to. <laughs> Uh, uh, first, we'll do Feast Upon Flame. Uh, I'll throw down six focus points. Um, and once again, just hurl a ball of fire from my hand. Um, roll to hit. It does damage even if I miss. Uh, so that's a 14. 14 just hits. Wow, okay, amazing. So what this is going to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven. Uh -huh. 76 damage. Uh, 11, Ooh. 16, 21, uh, 24 damage. Nice. Um, and within that 24 damage, uh, uh, it's also then, not that there, there may be nothing else around, but if there is some, some hidden combatants, they would take 11, 15, uh, they would take 19 points of damage if there's mm -hmm. any other. There are none, just this one. But he took a heavy hit to the face, and oh. the flames burn and curl across before shrugging it off. Uh, and then I'm going to do a power swing. Do it. As he's gearing up for that, I'm just going to use this moment to just sort of dash away from, uh, behind the the creature, just so we're not okay. all clumped together. All righty. Yeah, also, I'll move around to the side as well. To his, yeah. Over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, power swing's a 21 to hit. That hits. I'm gonna stand directly by uh, 10 damage from the battle axe, and nice. that block range has come down. By two? By two. Okay, uh, okay. And I will also move out of the range to leave uh, Kara Jen uh, uh, closer in combat. And okay, I'll kind of. Um, um, I'll, I'll, st I'll do this little cardinal directions thing we got going. I'll move in an opposite direction so that we're I'm in a corner as well. Great. Okay. And I'll uh, shift in front of the uh, prophetess. Okay. In front of Mariah. Yeah. I need to be off to the side of this gentleman. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And I would like to, if you guys don't mind. No, please, please. Oh, please. please. Uh, I'd like to wake my way around to the back of this gentleman. And I would like to wield my dragon scale blade. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I would you like to out. use it to chop him off below the kneecap <laughs> because I would like him to kneel. Ooh. I dig it. Go for it. Don't let me down, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. Weird roll. It was a weird <laughs> zero. Wait, it says, uh, and the. It's, oh, hold the phone. So wait, it's, it's nine to 10. Plus, so 15. 15 hits. Hey. Woo! All right, so it's 1d6 plus dexterity plus one. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. six, eight, nine. Nine points of damage on the first strike. It only takes one stamina to attack with it. Um, he's going to go ahead and use his counter to do his uh, axe backswing towards you. No, two for. Me, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, that is going to be 11 points of physical damage. No. Okay. I'm going to block that. No, I'm not going to block that because it's a three. <laughs> three, nope. You can so. take oh, wait. Four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three. So you got some. Eight, points, Eight of points, of points of damage to you there. Anyone else? I'm out of stamina. Might as I well use, use up everything. Uh, I'm going yeah. to. 
uh, spend some focus points and oh, ring, ring, ring my bell. summoning bell to summon the spirits of three <laughs> wolves to fight for me for the next minute. <laughs> you watch as these ghostly white spiritual wolves suddenly leap out of the middle of the ether and land. <laughs> And begin to swarm up. Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Now we can make a wolf stack and get up so we can get higher on him. <laughs> so there's like, his head. It's like get two big head. ones and like a little tiny dude there. Oh, oh buddies. <laughs> um, so it's it's one stamina to attack. Is that per wolf or? I don't they know. all attack as one. They all attack as one. So they're going to attack three times. Go for it. First one is a 14 to hit. 14 just hits. 18 and a 17. Yeah, all three hit. Okay, uh, it's not great damage, but I'll take it. Come on, puppers. Um, oh, let's see here. Physical defense, uh, dodge, uh, oh, I see. Okay, damage is four, four, five. All righty, great. That's awesome. 13 points. 13 points of damage from the wolves, not bad. I think I have come to realize I am a dog person. <laughs> that is very good. Yes, absolutely. They're so cute. I mean, look, they and they can't really just sort of lounges around and doesn't really acknowledge your presence at all. It's sort of like they're sort of a cat. You really want a cat that's going to be like bond with you and be sort of like a therapy blanket. But mm. that cat is too violent. I think so. You know, come to think of it, she was always kind of like that. Yeah. Sometimes you look at Cat and you're like, if you were four times as big as me, maybe we don't get along yeah. so well. Yeah. Let's go and use this last counter to axe backswing you. Axe no! Back sax. Back sack. Well, no, yeah, he can. Well, you're actually kind of far away. He's going to back. He's going to. You. Since you're the one that's right in front. Do that block. Ooh, okay. That is going to be 16 physical damage coming your way. Perry! Hey, my hometown. Five. Perry. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. You did, you did, 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 you did, did, did. I wasn't successful. You have to so do, 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 15 up. up. Come on. Oh, that's yeah. A yeah. yeah. Stagger that bitch. Yep. Wait, what was that? What'd you roll on the dice? 16. Wait, so, hey, so oh, you, did you did the thing. You did the thing. You did the You did the thing. You did the thing. You did the thing. You did the thing. You did the Yes, we do it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prophecy. So you use that. Oh my god! That's a, that's a perfect block. No damage sustained, and you manage to strike with your uh, buckler upward to parry the, the blade back, and it actually kind of strikes him across the face, and he oh, pulls back. And it's kind of back. And you know, you can now see he has two large feet, or two large legs, with smaller legs kind of dangling off the <laughs> knees in places that just kind of hang loosely Does as he pulls backward. Does it take anything to eat the eat the exalted jerky? No, you, you just eat, eat it. it on your turn. Okay, so um, I bash him with the sword, and I pull out also some exalted flesh, and I just <laughs> I'm with a craze in my eyes. Um, I pull out my dagger, and I'm gonna jump again and backstab. Okay. We're going again. So wait, it's a monster. He staggers, so it's advantage on the attack roll. Advantage on the Okay. Come on. Oh, ha! That's a natural 19. Nice. That'll Ooh. hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, so that's Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, five, six. Yes. Some good rolls at the front um, here. I love it. So it's plus. Okay, okay, okay. What did I do? Plus three damage until I. Okay. And then a d12 and a d4. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful sound. Five, <laughs> ten, uh, eighteen, twenty, five, six, plus three, plus three, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine points of damage wow. on that strike. Oh, wait. Plus three, twenty-nine. <laughs> Plus Just hold on, Alex. Two, <laughs> 29, uh, uh, 31. <laughs> All right, for 30. my regular day. You got it. So, yeah, mom, 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 mom breaks. I'm not going mom anywhere. Mom break. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Is that the player turn? 
I guess. Yes. I love the idea of like, of like, now if you want to move out of the way, that's going to take two stamina. Eating yeah. a whole stick of beef jerky, no <laughs> problem. Crazy. That's just <laughs> nom, 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 <laughs> pop it in, it's good. That time, you could do that in your sleep. <laughs> I, uh, Video game logic, yeah. <laughs> Not I don't know. You guys stacked horses yeah. to get here, so I have, I have eight, no argument. I have eight suits of full plate mail in my backpack, and I can eat beef jerky in less than a fraction. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, stacking horses right. might be my favorite Wait, thing. Wait, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, what you got? I'm gonna what do two more dagger attack. Uh, maybe three more dagger attacks. Oh I'm gonna do God. three more dagger attacks. Sure, go for it. I have all the stamina. I got all the stamina. I got all the got stamina. All the stamina. Um, and I've got this plus three damage buff. So three attacks. Here we go. That is a 14, natural 14, a natural 19, and a natural three. So I think three so two misses. Of them hit. Three misses. Two of them hits. One d4 for each of them, plus two, so that's adding four, plus three with each of those, so that's five, plus, so five, ten, uh, thirteen more damage. Thirteen more damage, nice, alrighty. Does that complete the plan turn? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's now Godric the Grafted's turn. Godric the Grafted? Grafted. <laughs> Grafted. Okay. Pulling back from the stagger and the wounds he sustained. <laughs> Leaps in the air. <laughs> Lands back voice. over next to the dragon. He goes, come. Oh no. Oh ye brother. Oh no. Grant me your strength and with the axe. Shh, cuts the dragon's head off. As the head falls, he grabs it and shh, sticks it onto his body. Oh, as the mouth. <laughs> We hit the second phase. And just breathes an arc of flame out oh, to no. all targets in short range, which is all of you. I don't have anything oh, to shit. dodge with. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna die. No? Alrighty, so. 28 points of magic damage to all of you. I will block. Oh. If that's a possibility. Yeah. All right. I rolled a 19. Okay. So I have one d6. 19 on a dodge. dodge. Take off five. 19 on a dodge. <laughs> you, you said how much? You managed to dodge it. Out of the way. You said how many points? I am. Uh, this would be, sorry, I have to look at this. 28. I'm going to have to attempt to block this or I'm going to die. Come on. Come on. 12. 12, so you take 28 points of magic damage minus your armor. You roll your magic armor. <gasps> magic armor. Oh. How many hit points are you at right now? That's not great. I'm that one. One. No way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at three. You're at three? Uh, oh, you. Oh, you bitches better be drinking those flasks. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dodge. Okay. you rolled that one. Yeah, that's good. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You managed to avoid it. So All right. Leave stamina to dodge. Everybody. <laughs> Just okay. do that from now on. Do that. Come on. Wow. You played the games. I know. <laughs> it was stupid. I did. <laughs> no, it's a good round. choice. It's a good open round. You did. I appreciate that. I'm, I have 52. I'm a full. I've been, listen, I've been dodging out here. I'm doing. I'm just. I'm somersaulting every battle, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, that finishes Godric's turn. Oh, he gets his counters back. It is now the player turn. Who wants to go first? I would like to go first. Yes. Yeah, heal. Yes, I would most certainly like to heal myself and my allies at this moment. So let's see. That's four. D8 plus five. For me. So So that's plus 30 points for me. Heck yeah, that's that puts a comeback. Me at 31. And then for you guys, you are going to get 2D8 plus five. So that's six. So 11 points of damage, or 11 points of healing. Yeah, all the rest of you heal 11 points, that's fantastic. 14. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swig a potion. Yeah, I'm also gonna swig a potion. So that'll take your flasks. 
your sacred yeah. flasks of crimson tears. Ooh, I like that. Okay. On any dodge rolls until my next turn. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm all, I'm all back. Do you want? Oh, you're out. You're at, you're at 31 again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Let's start the bidding by just have a bunch of dogs attack this guy. They're gonna okay. just nip. Oh, the dogs also take the. Uh, 28 points of magic damage, oh, by the way. Good, 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 good. So they, they have 30 hit points total. What does that mean? That means they have two hit points left. Okay. They also lose a wolf for every 10 hit points. So technically now it's just it's one, one wolf. wolf. <laughs> oh, it's only Kevin. Did he heal at all, or does that not work for on wolves? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I will say, yeah. Which brings him back. So he's at 10. It says that any, hey! no, no, no. It says any tra- allies that are next to you. So. That's true. So, no, they do, so it's 11 on them. Yeah. So, so, so one of them comes back from the super heel. Death. Well, right. no, I mean, I think two died, but the one who was alive. Correct, got healed go, from the spell. Would go back to 10 hit points. Correct, so I'm yeah. saying. So like there would be now two wolves there. Oh. Oh, okay. So that at 10 hit points, is just one. 20 hit points, or anything above 10 is two, and anything above uh, 20 is three. Okay. So you're going to have them attack? Yes, please. They rush in to strike. Go ahead and roll for the two attacks. 19, 16, they both hit. And four points. All right, seven points of damage to start the round. Hell yeah. Woo! All right. Uh, I'm, I will throw, I'll throw some more fire at this dude. Um, okay. Natural one. Ooh. No impact on that one. It just goes wide, and the boss just kind of moves out of the way, and it bursts in open space. No effect. He did a whole fire thing. It put me in my head. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, surge forward and do another power swing. All righty. Okay. Uh, I'll take my axe out and say, you know what? I don't even need to hit you with fire. I need an axe because you have my friend's arms. And uh, I'm going to take a swing. Uh, <laughs> 10 on a power swing. That misses. Hey, which of those arms is Galvis's? Um, it's going to use a, a counter to do its axe backswing on you. As you as you swing towards and strike past the, one of the smaller arms that's kind of just holding a, an axe to the side, it goes towards you for 20 points of physical damage. Nice. Okay, what's we gonna do? 20 points, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and block this. I'm gonna try to block it. Okay. Let's see if we do it. Come on. Uh, that's a 15 on a block. That does succeed to block, so you do reduce the damage by six, or d6. D6, okay. So roll your armor in d6. You said 20, right? That's correct. And uh, it takes 16 points of damage. You got it. All right, who else is up? Question. Yes. The Exalted Flesh says we gain plus three damage until the end of our next turn. Yeah, the next player so turn. So still yeah. have plus So do, three. We still, do I still have it? Yeah. Which means oh. I think you still have it too. Oh, okay, yeah. so that's a little extra bonus. Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and he's not, he's not looking rough by any chance, is he? <laughs> I mean, he's looked like he's taking some hits. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll move slightly closer, but okay. not straight up. And as I'm as I'm running, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna cast um, two Glintstone Pebbles at him. Go for it. <sighs> Glintstone! Both of those were terrible! <laughs> um, it's one, the Glintstone. <laughs> one's a nine. And one, one's a 14. 14 hits? Ah, oh, yes. 14 okay. just hits. So that's 2d4 plus 5. That's uh, 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage to him. <laughs> Your magic means nothing. Well, it means something to me. Touche. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing you've kind of been saying, right? Like, if yeah. it means something to you, then it means something? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Wise words. Yes. I actually, for everybody, like, yeah. uh, even on a miss, I still do 46 fire damage. That's true. Let's go ahead and roll damage on that. Yes, come on. 
Uh, that's going to be 11 points of fire damage. Great, 11 points of damage. That was so. uh, I'm going to grip my sword with two hands. I need somewhere to put my shield, so I will ask one of his dangling hands, could you hold this for one second? <laughs> Just hold it. <laughs> the, the, the two-handed sword to slice down with the uh, power swing. Alrighty. Thirteen plus seven to hit. That hits. 20. Okay. How do I do this? I do this. Power swing is a plus two. Okay. Yes. There's no that. Oh, what a journey. Uh, six, uh, eight points of damage. That's it. But his block range decreases by three. Great. Um, and I'll, for my second attack, I'll just do a regular two-handed attack. It will first counter you with a backswing. <sighs> Bastard. Woo! That is 19 points of physical damage. Boy, oh boy. I'll take it and use step in. Okay. To attack again. I believe in you. Nine plus seven to hit. Nine plus seven that to hit, that hits, yeah. Okay, so, so that's. Take your 19 damage. Yes, 19 damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> 14 plus because I stepped in mm -hmm. uh, is plus three. That's 17. Plus the beef jerky bonus is another three, right? So that's, that's 20, 20 total. Nice. Uh, um, yep. <laughs> uh, and then I still have more. So I will attack again. Because I'm a beast. That's a d6. That doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, 18 plus stuff that hits. works. 12 plus yes, is on another a 17 plus another d6, another three, another 20 points of damage. Dang, wow. heck yeah. He's carving into a large, heaping swaths of skin and flesh are being cut off. He's being knocked back with each impact. You see the blades are trying to parry, but even if they hit your blade, it's too strong and it pushes through and still cuts into it. I'm trying to slice off some of these limbs as well as I, as I hack Yeah, get a few fingers here okay, and there. Okay, good job. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, I think that's all I can do. Uh, all I think right. that's all I can do. Okay, seeing go. Nil doing what she did, I'm gonna run in. Uh, seeing her leave an opportunity, I'm gonna like barrel roll over the priestess, or sorry, I keep calling a priestess, prophetess, mm -hmm. but also, yeah, same thing. And then run in and. God damn it. <laughs> so much momentum. It was so I'm good. Good. Yeah, I wanna uh, Do I wanna. Um, well, I can switch for free. So I'm gonna use my scimitars. Foof, 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 foof. You get it. So dual building? Dual wielding. Alrighty. I think you meant fa, fa, fa. Two attacks. You got Ooh. it. One's a natural twenty. Hey. Yes. The other is a ten with a sixty for a sixteen total. Both hit. So first one roll and double dice. Dice doubled, correct? Correct. Okay. Three plus six plus four. So ten for the first hit. Plus another three for my jerky. Plus four uh, for my base physical. Oh, nice. So 17 total. 17. Okay. And then next one for uh, eight plus three, 11. 11, nice. Uh, plus another four because of my base. Three is the jerky. Well, the base doesn't come on the second hit for the. You're right. No, no, no. I did two attacks. Oh, you used two attacks. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. But you're right, I'm dual wielding. Am I dual wielding? I don't know, it's up to you. Do you have two wheels? <laughs> <laughs> she is a bicycle. <laughs> Un bicyclet. How many horses? <laughs> Un velo. How many wheels? Or are you, or are you keeping your shield out? Because you're planning to parry. I'll keep my shield. Okay, so it's I'll just the two strikes. So you're just not two dual strikes. Wielding. Okay, yes. cool. So it's more of a fa. 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 Got it. Okay, cool. All right. So Anybody one, else? Two, three, I'm going four. to come back at him. I'm going to run up okay. and spread out my beast claw. And so I'm going to let's see. So that's a dirty twenty. That hits. Woo! Yeah. All right. So let's go to d8 plus five. So that's seven. 12, so 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. She's going to go ahead and do a counter as a sweeping repost. Takes the axe and just 
swings an arc out to hit all of you within the immediate distance next to it, which is all three of you in the front and the and the wolves. Dodge it. For 17 points of physical damage. My dirty 20 says no. You dodge that shit out of the way, no issue. I will also block. Nope, I won't. Okay. 19, you said? Or how? 19 points? Uh, no, it was 17 points of physical damage reduced by your armor roll. Oh, yes, that's right. And um, then for uh, you. Parry. All right. Mm, no. Okay, so it's 17 points of physical damage okay. reduced by your armor value. Uh, you don't have to roll because you're far enough away. Oh. And then the wolves take 17 points of physical damage. So they're down to one wolf. Okay. So down to okay. one wolf. He's a teen wolf. Fifth it on that carry. All right. Is that anyone else? Uh, is everybody out? Okay. I know. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, good. You. Yeah. You. Mm. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna know how to do this. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I would like to pull out my throwing knife. Okay. And I would like to aim for the eyeball. Nice. <laughs> the thing about eyeballs. It's it's effective. Eyeballs. Go ahead and roll for your attack. I'm saying you're fixating. <laughs> Throw your throwing dagger. I'm fixating to hit him in the eyeball. Oh! It's valid. Or not, but you know. Um, <laughs> let's see, hold on. That's 11. It was a good shot, though. Well, no, it was a good shot. It was a good try. It's a bad shot. <laughs> Very bad. Sorry. <laughs> You're mad. Bad. You should feel bad. I'm gonna, as I'm out there, I'm gonna go uh, three more pebbles. Do it. Do it. Two hits. <laughs> one does not. Okay. Uh, so two more hits. Uh, so that's gonna be two d four. First one is. Uh, Six, 11 points of magic damage. All right. And then um, nine points of magic damage. Nice. <laughs> He's getting hit. He's starting to see some wear and tear on him. Oh. Goddard the Grafted is looking, starting to look a little hurt here. Okay, okay, Woo! okay. All right. Is that the end of the player's turn? Yes. I think so, yeah. All right, he gets his counters back. It's now his go. He's going to unleash an Inferno Tornado combo. Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound great. No. Does it come so, with curly fries? <laughs> oh god, I want curly fries so bad. <laughs> Everyone next to him <laughs> takes... <laughs> 19 points of magic damage <laughs> to you. 19? 19 points of magic damage. And you, and you. I don't like that accusatory finger point. Sorry, my apologies. I would like to fight you on that. You got a stamina to, to, to block or dodge? Or? I got, I'm glad that I added that extra stamina block during the last okay. who's a what's it. So you blocking or dodging? I mean, did I really have to use that slot? Like, can I ever, like, can I get a mulligan? Nah. If I a if Brennan? I rolled a, a Brennan as if I rolled it? a seven, hey. I would like a Lee Mulligan, please. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's nineteen if points I of magical damage. Spare, I'd give it to you. <laughs> Nine points. You said? Nineteen. Nineteen. Minus your armor roll. I'll try to dodge completely if I can. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Against magic defense or yeah, okay. twenty-three to dodge. Twenty-three dodges, yeah. Okay. And then I took it. You took it. Okay. And then sets the swing around, and then does the up in the air. You watch as the flames curl around the axe swing. It burns through all of you, and then he leaps about ten feet in the air, and brings it down as hard as he can onto you. Oh no! no. Like, Let it be the wolf. Let it be the wolf. I'm gonna use my last stamina to block. <laughs> oh, that is perfect block right there. here. Watch it. Here comes yeah, the perfect come block. On. Here Stagger comes the perfect block. Yeah. It'll be 25 good. points of physical damage. Kill me. Oh my god, come on. Stagger. Watch it happen, here we go. I believe, believe. in you. Oh, yeah. 
Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 13. 13 is not enough. The skill, the skill rate is 14. Oh. Wait, did you roll your armor and shit? I mean, it's, it's not the same. Is, no. You can roll your armor just to see. One. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you watch as Neil just collapses to the ground, the axe jammed into his back. And he lies motionless in the ground. My Neil! Outlived me. Reaches down and tears one of the arms no. from his body. Oh. And it fixes it to his shoulder and it kind of begins to move and flex. Very well. Who's next? Fuck. Oh. Okay, it's how far are we from that little that little uh, Madonna uh, room, uh, the little ray of light? <laughs> Mm. Oh, you're about 60 feet from it that way. Okay, can I go and grab Neil by the feet and like drag him back out of there? Interestingly enough, in the process of this combat, its light seems to have faded. Oh, that's just wrong. That's just boss rules in a boss fight. <laughs> it's like the third time that, that Madonna album has been brought up. It's a good, it's a good album. It's a, we, we listened to it. It's right. a good thing, and so as you grab good. the body, I'm going to tug you, look over, and it's just, it's not present. We. But it is the player turn. I have I have 38 hit points right now. How many hit points do you guys have? 36. 37. Th okay. 13. You and you should do, if you need to do anything close to this person, you should do it and then you should get very much farther. Do you have any away. more uh, flasks? I do. Do yeah, you got healing potions? Yeah. Healing potions? Yeah. It's healing oh wait, potions. I do have. Oh wait, and we're we're refresh on stamina. Yeah, we're full on right. stamina. Yeah, we gotta use our five. crimson. We gotta remember to use our crimson tears. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I apologize. Okay. She falls. That's oh, on me. Oh, thank you. I That's on me. As well. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I could have reopened my, my focus points. I got my cerulean tears. All right, tears. so that's. 33 points. What are you doing over there with those cerulean tears? <laughs> cerulean. Uh, I'm going to hurl fire again. <laughs> hurl. Go for it. I'm just going to hurl. Blah. 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 Oh, the arm, gross. Ugh, I hate it. <laughs> um, uh, okay. <laughs> Not 20! Yeah! Yeah! Which is going to be a hot. 14d6 damage coming this dude's yeah, way. Oh, oh my god. god. Please just die. 14. Please just okay, die. There's that. Holy Bada shit, boom. come on. This is going to be so epic if it works. I would be very That's impressed. 12. Do you need extra d6? I, this is. Uh, uh, Do you actually have 14d6? 14d6. That's. What Do it for Neil's on. I don't know what I'm more impressed by. Got this, we got, we're ready to go here. We wow. can't, you know, you got, <laughs> kids, you gotta come prepared. Um, <laughs> all right, 14 D6, rolling this dude's way. Okay, let's see here. 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, 19, 25, 31, 36, 42, uh, 45, 51 points of fire damage Ooh. to the grafted. Got it. How do you want to do that? Ah! For nil! You'll never understand the love that binds people to one another, to their arms, or to their cats. I don't hate you. I pity you. <laughs> Fire roils out of me, and unlike the nasty roiling smoke of all the sort of barbarian wildfire, as I hold the hands of my prophetess, it is pure glowing light and flame. He reaches forward with the dragon arm, which then breathes flames in response Ooh. to it, and the two collide. <laughs> But the light of the prophetess's blessing into this golden flame pushes back and it cannot hold it at bay. No! No! The flames fully immerse and engulf this figure. You watch as Godric begins to rush around screaming, 
Bobby is swinging wildly, the flames burning brighter and louder, catching the nearby trees before eventually the steps become slackened and poof, hits the ground and smolders. Walk to the smoldering body and kick it apart, just like I did the fire earlier these beautiful companions. And I reach down into the embers and search for two stony arms, mm. if I can find them. Looking through the space here, you do not find stony arms. Those arms would have been disturbingly large on this figure <laughs> here. I was going to say, probably <laughs> like... But you... You do see discarded <laughs> off to the side of this courtyard a pair of large arms that look like they have been frustratingly tinkered with and then abandoned. Why, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this like eldritch abomination is like, man, it would be so cool if I could add these. I just, I need like more, another set of legs, honestly, on top heavy. I should have gotten more than just the arms. He needs a horse stack. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You were so sorry. You all, you said you only asked how and not should. You know, you needed to think. A stack of horses is what's needed to support all these arms. Um. Oh my God. We'll say in the the twilight of this conflict, and in the memory of the lost warrior, Nil. I was just kind of drag Nil's body and throw Nil on the on the side of the. Which lost. is only a short inconvenience thanks okay. to the <laughs> the sights of Lost Grace restoring. Can we, can we do a full <laughs> funeral for Nil, sixty feet from this lamp? <laughs> Nil, you were a beautiful soul. You you loved cats, or like one specific cat, but you mm. really loved that one cat, and you were a. So powerful. I, I only knew you for such a short time. And so short, like in that four hours. Time you really, you really stunned me with your ability to so freely lose your limbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the limbs thing came up actually a couple times. Yeah, it unrelated. Was, yeah. yeah. I didn't understand half of what you said. Your accent was th so thick. Yeah, but really, I appreciated it all the all the same. Yeah, really, sort of incomprehensibly thick accent. <laughs> Deeply in, uh, thick. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you all just close your eyes for a moment of silence? <laughs> and then, as they're closing their eyes for the moment of silence, I'm going to drag his body over to the lost souls. <laughs> He's gone. Where'd he go? She she uh, <laughs> drag her body. Yeah, over to the emerges from the golden light restored. You are truly <laughs> oh. prophetess. The prophetess. Oh, prophetess. A miracle. She has saved the me. The light has the, saved us she again. She is the greatest of prophets. <laughs> the doors to the courtyard behind you splinter open. There you see just a massacre of bodies torn asunder, blood spattered everywhere, and there in the middle of it, you see a massive feline just chewing, just red crimson across its fur in the front. Walks up to you. Oh, oh, who's a good girl? Yes, you are, you are a good girl. She just needed to eat, you were totally right. I left her with no food, and that was the problem. Oh, I'll never do that again, I promise. Oh, Things did. do not work here the way they're supposed to. <laughs> As we... No. I was gonna say, if you think with only this, everything will seem crazy. How this tree so big? Why that guy bat his arms? Who this man? Why that lady by the fire? How come these different lamps are around and then people can come back to life, but the people that we kill, they don't seem to use the lamps? <laughs> If you use this, nothing will make sense. But if you think from here and believe when you should believe. You follow a prophet. Yes. Great. <laughs> Still not sold. I, I, I respect your commitment to your belief in disbelief. We have to believe in something. That's right. 
She's done it again. She figured it out. <laughs> she she even made you okay. She, she even she figured you. out how to do yeah. it. She profited you. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're really, you're, you're tied up, because what can you do? If you say it's your thing, it's kind of now her thing. <laughs> in about a minute, I need you to drag me to that light. And he just walks over and summons the sword out of his <laughs> We pull back from the courtyard here at the top of Storm Hill, here at the Stormville Castle. As the soldiers are swarming around the exterior of this castle, we see the massive golden herd tree and the promise, the future promise of somebody rising up to become the Elden Lord. But tonight, instead, we focus on the self inflicted magical stab wound of one such sorcerer as his wayward compatriots begin to stack horses <laughs> to escape from the outer walls of this castle. What an adventure. Squad shot. <sighs> and what possibility awaits. <laughs> and that's where we'll end this game tonight. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh my god. Thank you. Video game rules, man. It's pretty great, honestly. Stacking simulator rules. <laughs> Break the physics <laughs> engine. It broke me. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so thank good. you all so much for coming and so playing and being part of this. So, so good. Uh, joy. Oh my goodness. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to Bandai Namco for partnering with us to create this uh, extremely serious, accurate portrayal of the Elden Ring lore. Mm -hmm. uh, I will remind you, none of this is canon, and the system is very homebrewed. But thank you for joining us on this wildness. Uh, big round of applause for all the wonderful players and people that brought this story together. Uh, go check out Elden Ring now uh, if you enjoyed this and, and have the exact, I trust you, the exact same sort of experience in the game. Um, much cooler, much epic. Uh, uh, at bit.ly slash CR Elden Ring, I believe is the mm -hmm. URL. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. I love you very much. And is it Thursday? Yet? Good night. Yeah. Yeah.